Mississippi State Bank, Stevens Five Star Car and Truck Center, Bob's Heating and Air, First National Bank, Def Smith County Farm Bureau Insurance, WT Services, the Hereford, Texas Federal Credit Union, Mendez and Mullins Family Funeral Home, Hereford Furniture Exchange, Matt Silva State Farm Insurance, and Capital Farm Credit. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Whiteface Gym. Tom Simons and Brenda Kitten with you here on this Tuesday evening as the Lady Whiteface is set to take on the Ranger Ets. We had a great discussion last night, Kendall and Cindy and I, about the proper use of should you be an Et or should you be a Lady Ranger or should you be what, what should you be, Coach? Oh, you can't hear. You don't have your head. You don't have, I didn't give you your headset. That's why you can't hear. <laughs> I was wearing coach's headset that's why she couldn't hear the question the, the question was yes sir are they the ranger ants the lady rangers uh, ranger girls what what exactly should we call opposing teams well to be proper their shirt says rets rets okay we'll call the them rets. rets and above the lines what it said on the back okay. and it says ret hoops r e t t e okay so I They're, guess that's a little short. That's a little nickname for the Rangerettes. I guess so. So are you all right? Do you care where you're called a lady white face or a white face head, or does any of that bother you? No, nah. <laughs> I, I get called a lot, <laughs> a lot. So that's that's all polite right there. But, but yeah, I was going to say, most of the time people are just mm -hmm. uh, using words that you haven't heard before. Exactly. Right? can't say on the radio. Okay, got it, yep. got it, got it. Well, we're here at the gym. It's nice and toasty in it here. Is. Been a little, little nippy on the outside here, Coach. My goodness, hadn't it though? It was like winter hit and just with a big pow. We've been, I've been, we've been thinking, you know, we're not going to have a very rough winter until this last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so sure enough, it showed up right here it in the did. middle, middle of January. Well, uh, Coach Kitten, as you all know, is a five-time state champion and a Hall of Fame coach and all in. I'm not supposed to say this, but I learned today Jerry Jones has contacted her, and she's being considered as an advisor for the Cowboys. So. Well, if there's a way to get him fired, that's what I'm shooting for. <laughs> if I can get him to fire himself. I think that's the one certainty oh. in all this. That's oh. not going to happen. Who else knows what's going to happen? It's not. I it's saw the where best marketer that's ever been. He's something. I don't know what he is, but uh, we'll call it that. I have other names for him, too, that we probably shouldn't <laughs> say on the radio. Um, I did see today. I mean, this is just, I mean, this is just how bizarre. He was meeting with McCarthy today, and McCarthy was bringing his resume, and they were doing it like a job interview. How do you like that? Why would you even say that? <laughs> well, I does, said it because I read he, it. I don't know why. Not, they, doesn't he he, Does he, he know, no, have any clue no, no, how no, bad no. that sounds? No, he has no clue, period, and that's the truth. That's the problem. Oh, my but goodness. But in any event. Uh, it was horrible. It was. It was horrible. I just told uh, Anastasia, and uh, they didn't agree with this, by the way. I'll say in advance. <laughs> but uh, I told Anastasia and Adam that Philadelphia took some of the heat off Dallas last yeah. night because yeah. <laughs> they uh, – uh, Adam said they didn't have any expectations, and Dallas did. That's how he saw it. But uh, I well, did I, see. I thought I thought Philly would come out of their funk, oh. work their way out. And I, you know, well, I was talking to Adam this afternoon before we got anything set up with the JV game, and you know, I, I just I would just love to dig into both of those yep. teams. And what was it? What yep. went wrong? I don't it know. It can't be just a little thing. No. It has to be big things. Well, I thought Philly last night, I, I thought, I mean, I, I don't say this often, and I'm not saying this for Adam or Anastasia. I thought they quit, and uh -huh. that's the worst thing. You know, it's, it's yeah. that's the worst thing that a sports team can do, and I did. I thought they didn't want to tackle people, in the, especially in the secondary, and they didn't. Uh, yeah. As someone who had their had the Philly defense on her fantasy team, <laughs> they've not been good all year long. <laughs> and, well, and I just kept thinking, they'll get better, they'll yeah. get better, which is the mark of a really bad fantasy owner. I heard uh, one of the commentators say today, you know, 
Philadelphia proved to be who we thought they were. <laughs> I thought, oh, yeah. So you know, anyway, that's two teams that uh, there's no explanation for, and I don't. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Sirianni got fired. I really wouldn't. Yeah. And you know, hurts. I mean, it's not our time. I mean, that's not a very good answer. Yeah. I mean, I heard that on the say, radio. Coming say, over we, here. say we didn't play good. Say we, you mm-hmm. know, but don't say it's not my time. I mean, that's not why they lost. But in any event. I heard Michael Strahan say after the Dallas game, he he said, when I went down there, when Jimmy Johnson got inducted into the, the Hall of Fame or on the wall, whatever you call that, down in Dallas, right. early December, he said, it felt, it didn't even feel like a football game. It felt like a, it, everything was a just a production. <laughs> and it wasn't yeah. like the feeling that you get at any other stadium that huh. you're there wow. for a football game. And I thought, that's that's yeah. pretty wise right there. Uh, we have some friends who went to the game and mm. drove and then had to drive home in oh. weather and mm. you know, just you know just a bad deal. But Jerry made another billion, so we're all happy with that and uh, we'll go on from here. I don't know, the NFC East may not be that good, huh? <laughs> Do you think not? <laughs> I mean Two major, just uh-huh. major implosions, huh? Mm. Yep, I, I bet the Giants in Washington are both thinking our turn is coming. Hi, Nick. How you doing, sir? Lady Whitefaces, we're playing basketball here tonight. I know it sounds like we're not, but we are here in just a minute. <laughs> Lady Whitefaces, three and four in the first round of district play. We, You know, if we could win five this time mm-hmm. around, Coach, I mean, that would really put us in good stead. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, if all goes as – quote it's supposed to go i mean it, it may come down to what can we do against pampa yeah yep. and we have them at home which is a good thing right but um oh we've got to beat them i mean that's oh yeah next tuesday night i mean I, of course obviously we've got to take care of other business but if we don't beat pampa mm-hmm. we we will be down to them and have lost to them both times yep. that effectively makes you two games down so or, or one more than whatever the the difference is there's James Stowe talking to Ricky Guy, so that's two. Uh, that's two big golfers. Two isn't big it? golfers, big time golfers. Yep. Tall uh, golfers. Yeah, they are. Yeah, James is tall, and Ricky's about no, uh, probably two, three inches mm-hmm. taller than him. Chris Blair's over there. He's yeah. no shorty. Yeah. <laughs> got, he got dwarfed here. <laughs> uh, well, the teams are warming up. We're going to take a break here for 60 seconds. Back to Avery, who's back at the studio tonight, and we'll be back in one minute. Start here, AC. Go anywhere. Amarillo College is the place to prepare. AC. I wanted to be a nurse for years. Amarillo College helped me get there. I had a job lined up even before I graduated. With my degree from AC, I can go anywhere and do anything. Trust your future to a college that can. Your business, farm, or ranch and home is unique, and success depends in part on a cost-effective and convenient supply of quality fuel. When you trust your fueling needs to Gooden Fuels, it's one less detail for you to manage. Commercial fuel in bulk, delivered to your above or below ground tank, serving the western Texas panhandle with gasoline, diesel, and propane. Gooden Fuels in Hereford at 806-364-3366. Call them today to discuss your fuel needs. Alrighty, back here. Um, last week, attended the funeral of uh, Calvin Gooden, uh, a very, very good man, a man who uh, has treated the county, I know, uh, more than fair, and many others, but I, I just had personal dealings with him there for about 30 years, and not a better man than Calvin. And well, uh, I met them when I first came to Hereford back in 84. She was, she was teaching here. Okay. And uh, met Ginger not long after yeah. I got here. And, yep, yeah. They're good folks. The Lady White Faces and the Lady, or the Ets, I'm sorry, are warming up at the moment. The Ets are in red and white. The White Faces in maroon and white. And uh, they'll be meeting here, as I said. And, and, I mean, they're all important for the White Faces. If you're going to make the postseason, uh, I mean, you just can't. I mean, we're probably, I don't mean this in a negative way, we're probably not going to beat. Randall and Canyon, 
I think we've got a chance to beat the uh, West Plains Lady Wolves when they come here. And that won't be too long. Wait, next Tuesday night, though, we've got to be. We lost to Pampa in Pampa the first round, and that's one we got to have next Friday, uh, next Tuesday night. This this Friday night, we're on the road in Borger, I believe. Yep. Yes. We're going so. to go to Borger. And then uh, Dumas will have it home on Friday. I know our right. schedule says it's away originally. Our schedule said that. But um, the Thursday before Christmas, we uh, we were going to try to play a little bit earlier in the day, but we had a wrestling turn, a wrestling meet here. Uh -huh. So we just flip-flop sites, and uh, we've had our time at Dumas. And so now they'll come here. I saw where, uh, speaking of the rumble and all last weekend, our girls finished third, a close third, and the boys, uh, I've forgotten where they were, but they finished well, too, out of the number of teams we had. Yeah, I think it was a, I think it was a, a, good, a good meet uh, from everything. I mean, hearing from the coaches and um, just the people who worked the meet, the whole thing. I mean, I think it, it was a good deal. Had a lot of folks here. Um, hopefully it was good for our community and – yeah. Hotels and restaurants and all that sort of stuff. And there were a lot of people, weekend. a lot of people hopping around uh -huh, uh, town. Uh -huh. So on uh, a cold, cold weekend. Yeah, cold, cold weekend for sure. Well, uh, the White Faces, we've had that three game stretch now. The ladies have. Uh, we've lost to West Plains, Randall, and uh, Canyon all in succession here. Now we've got. Perryton, Borger, Pampa, Dumas, that four in a row before we play those three again. Yeah, it's um, it's just miserable for everybody in this <laughs> district when they've got to see those three Canyon schools back to back to back. It's rough. But uh, that's uh, – we, we, we kind of get a little reprieve, but uh, we just got to make sure we take it – take care of our business during this yeah. non-canyon part of our schedule yeah uh we're at three and four and again <clears throat> probably i mean seven wins depending again on who it's against but seven wins is likely to get you in the playoff for fourth place right yeah i would you would think so but uh you know it's, well, i'm asking you you're no, the you're the no, athletic no, 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 no. you would think so but <laughs> Crazy things have happened. Nobody thought Randall would beat. That's right. Would beat the the Lady Eagles because Lady Eagles have said they pretty much own this district. But uh, Randall had different thoughts on that. Both boys and the girls. Yep. Yeah. Randall boys really beat them. And the girls by two. That was in Canyon, and I think I mentioned this the other day, but it was the first time since 2007 Randall had <laughs> beaten Canyon in girls basketball, and the first time Canyon had lost a girls district game since what was it 2017, I believe. Something like that. I, we beat them. Gosh, I don't know. When, when was that? That would have been earlier than that. Faith. Yeah. Was, Faith was playing at that point in time. Coach Conley was the coach. Yep. So. Mia. Uh, I mean, yeah, Mia. 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 And, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Faith was Faith playing. Faith was too, I think, yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> who else? Oh, uh, the two gals that went to Clarendon. Good night. Anyway, we beat them here in our gym. The only time we have beaten Canyon in girls basketball since I've been broadcasting. That was the one and only. I know. I carried the C I had a CD of that game, and I carried it in my in my purse for a long time. <laughs> just, <laughs> now just, I've got to remember the special place I put it, so I would never forget where I put it. <laughs> well, just, just carry that to remind yourself occasionally that this really did happen. Yeah. Okay. Two teams going to be introduced here in just a moment. We're going to have the uh, – playing of the national anthem and then we'll get started with the girls action good crowd already here but we didn't bite you out again uh, toasty white face gym as the teams take the floor again the boys game will follow about you know 20 minutes thereafter concession stands open they've got frito pies and all that kind of good stuff so plenty of uh, reasons to come to the gym here tonight We'll take a break for a minute 30 back to the station, back in a minute and a half. Flu shots and updated COVID-19 vaccines are available at the Hereford Health Clinic. With many respiratory viruses circulating at the same time, it's more important than ever to make sure you and your family have the best protection starting this fall. Call 806-364-7512 
to schedule a vaccine appointment today. For generations, First Bank Southwest has been there to help the working hands that have shaped this great land. Chances are we helped your father, his father, and even his father. We understand for some, a handshake is a stronger bond than a piece of paper. And even though times can be tough, folks around here are tougher. And that's why we're as proud of our panhandle roots as you are. First Bank Southwest, moving your generation in the right direction. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When life's unexpected moments happen, you can rest easy knowing Prairie Insurance is on your side. Prairie Insurance will listen to you and help tailor a policy to meet your needs. They offer multiple insurance products, including home, auto, business, and farm insurance, with the knowledge to make sure you're covered. Give them a call at 363-6489 or stop by their office at 213 West Park Avenue. When you're ready to have peace of mind regarding the things that matter most, call Prairie Insurance at 363-6489 or stop by 213 West Park Avenue and they'll make sure you're covered. All right, introducing the uh, ladies from Perryton right now. They're going to have a, a size advantage. Jones. They've got some height, a couple of posts around the... 5'10", 5'11", Mark, maybe six foot. I don't know. They're pretty good, pretty good height. Now the white lady white face is being introduced. It's Ashley doing the honors tonight. Kendall Blair out first. Yeah, softball. Claudia has been doing that, and yeah. um, softball has started after school practice wow. as of last uh, last weekend, Friday. So um, she'll get here when she can get here, but that moves <laughs> Miss Ashley into the announcer spot. Wow, all right. Sam, uh, along with Azalea. And the white face is coached by <coughs> and Mitzel, the last of those five. Trying to, I hope we don't have to have Kleenexes on the court and things like that. Golly, we've had a lot of <laughs> respiratory stuff go through our, yeah. our varsity team in particular. Well, it's, it's, it's a that season, time of it? year, and I'm telling you, there's a lot of it around. There really is. Yeah. It's a good thing to avoid. Coach Kitten, of course, didn't. Michael didn't. So yeah. we can't. they're not examples for us, for sure. Nope, we are not good examples on a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Not true at all. You know, maybe at halftime of the game, what we could do is we could have Adam come down and I could interview you and Adam about the Cowboys and the <laughs> Eagles, and you could both explain kind of how this all unfolded. I don't think we can explain it. Okay. We just okay. Because I I don't either, but I thought it would be it fun was, to try. I, I want somebody really, really wise to figure that out. I don't think it's. I, I can explain the Cowboys, and I will at some point. It's not a good explanation, but it's an explanation. All right, here we go. It'll be Apple Hahn to. Played last year as a sophomore. She's good, good shooter, good player. She's jumping at midcourt against Kendall. So it's Kendall, Mitzel, Azalea, Arissa, and Sam. That's the five out there to start the night. Tip back, and Azalea's got it. Here we go. White faces across midcourt, setting it up in the forecourt. Azalea with the ball, left side pass around the horn. They work it. Kendall's got it, passes back outside now to Sam. Down on the baseline to Kendall, threw it away. We saved it. Kendall's got it over in the right corner. Down the baseline, she goes. Gives it back to Sam inside, loses the handle. The ball is out of bounds off of Perryton. Still Herford's ball. Just underway in the girls' game here at Whiteface Gym tonight. Friday night on the road at Borger. Next Tuesday night, we're right back here against Pampa. In the forecourt now, Arissa's got it. Passes off to Sam around the perimeter. She gives it. To Mitzel. Mitzel still wearing that protection over her broken nose. Arissa left corner now to Azalea. Top of the circle now to Samantha. Sam guarded closely. Perryton in a man to man. Outside now, Azalea's got a three. She puts it up and in, and the white faces lead it. Good three to nothing. Good shot by the senior. 7 05 left first quarter. Full court pressure, a little zone press by the white faces, but handled by Perryton. They get it quick. Down the floor, got it inside, off the glass, and in. That's uh, Laura with the bucket, and it's three to two. She is a good-looking athlete. She isn't is. She? she really is. She. Pl- I remember her from last year too. Here in the full court now, Zaya, three-two. Herford off to Sam. Sam in the lane, back outside. Open it is Mitzel for three. It's no good, but the rebound belongs to Kendall. Back to Zaya. We'll go again. 
Left side now, Samantha's got it down on the baseline. Brings it back out now to the top of the circle. She comes, passes off to Kendall. Kendall with the ball, gives it to Azalea. Azalea now, right side pass to Mitzel. Mitzel, back off to Kendall. 3-2 Herford, 6-19 left first quarter. Almost turned that over, but Arissa saves it. Back to Azalea. Azalea down on the baseline, ball knocked away, but Kendall gets it. Gets it back to Mitzel. Now back to the outside. It comes to Kendall down low to Mitzel. Back outside, a three-point shot. Up and good. That's Arissa, the younger sister. In between the two of them, they've got two threes. And the White Faces lead at 6-2. to two. Six minutes left, first quarter. In the full court zone press. Oh. There's a whistle and a foul on Sam. Oh. Sam just, that wasn't much contact there. I, you never know how they're going to call it. Maybe tonight it's that way. Sam has foul problems. She's, you know, she's real aggressive, and sometimes she gets herself in foul trouble, so she doesn't need any incidental ones like that one. All right, Perryton with the ball, down by four, down the lane, thrown away, ball loose, saved by Perryton, out of bounds off Perryton, Herbert's ball. Good defense by the white faces on the inside that time, created that turnover. 5.39 left in the quarter, Herford up 6-2. to two. Ball's knocked away and stolen. Nope, Herford gets it back. Now Herford with a three-on-one. Off it comes to Sam, off the glass and in. Great pass by Arissa. 8-2, Herford. White faces with a six-point lead, 5.25 left first quarter. In the backcourt, White faces trying to stop the dribble. Perryton trying to get it across midcourt. Got to hurry. Arissa now. On defense, and she takes it away. Back the other way comes Arissa. Left-handed layup is up. It's good. 10-2, Herford. 5.05 left first quarter. Timeout. Perryton, we're back in 30 seconds. First Financial Bank knows how important a person's vehicle can be. My SUV is perfect for taking clients to properties and me to the golf course. My pickup hauls work supplies all week and the family on weekends. My hybrid helps the environment and my fuel bill. If you're ready for a new vehicle, talk to First Financial. We offer loans at competitive rates with fast local approval. My 4x4 works hard, but plays even harder. First Financial Bank. You first. Member FDIC. 505 left first quarter, 10 to Hereford. Now, let me just kind of remind you, we scored Friday night against Canyon. Mm -hmm. I believe we scored uh, 24 points, Coach, in the game. So we've gotten... Nearly uh, half of that. Yeah, nearly half of that in three minutes play. Does matter who you're playing. Up the floor now comes Perryton with the ball. It's Martinez out on the point. No pressure by the white faces this time down the floor. Martinez to her right with Samantha on her. A lot of contact, no whistle. Back off on the right side now comes to Doherty. Doherty stops her dribble, needs some help. Gets it off to Vela. Vela around the perimeter, left side pass. Trying to work, ooh, push off there by Perryton that goes unchecked. There's Sam against Vela, or pardon me, against Laura. Back outside, 4.30 left in the quarter. Herford up 10 to two. Again, a little weave on the outside. Vela's driving in the lane. She loses the ball, goes to the floor. Back the other way comes Kendall, one-on-one. -on -one. She takes it all the way, puts it up. It won't go in. Ball tipped around. Mitzel gets it. Herford now works it back down to the baseline to Grajeda. Back to the outside now. Right side, it goes to Blair. Blair gives it off to Arissa, who's out on the point. Halfway through the first quarter, Herford leading 10-2. to two. On the outside now, Arissa in the right corner to Sam. Sam gives it off. Kendall has a three look, but doesn't take it. Passes instead back to Azalea. Azalea down the inside to Samantha. Almost threw it away, but Azalea able to save it. Left side to Kendall. Baseline to Mitzel. Mitzel back outside now to the top of the circle. It comes to Azalea. 3.40 left in the quarter. She goes, penetrates in the lane, passes off in the corner. Mitzel goes down the baseline, tries to get it across. Great steal that time by Doherty. Back the other way come the Eds in the forecourt. <laughs> Baker going to check in on the first next whistle. Down the baseline comes Vela. Puts a little runner up and in. Nice shot. Vela again about 5.11. Good-looking athlete. 10-4, Herford by six, 3.14 left, first quarter. Back the other way, Azalea outside, and they pick her up. Bella does, close to midcourt. Trying to get free, gets it down in the corner to Arissa. She no-looks it inside to Mitzel, back outside. Three-point shot for Blair. It is up. It is no good. The rebound belongs to 
of Perryton. The foul belongs to Metzl. 2.57 left in the quarter. We lead by four. I spoke way, or by six. I spoke way too soon. Uh, we scored 10 in three minutes. We haven't scored now. <laughs> I know better than that. That jinxing thing yep, is a real it deal, is. isn't it? It really is. Martinez across midcourt again. Samantha has her. Left side pass goes over to Darty. Down low, good. Pass off the glass and in. Nice give and go, or nice pass inside there to Laura. Back the other way now. Herford's lead is four. On the outside, left side to Samantha. She tries to drive in the lane. She does. Players all over the floor. Open for a three is Azalea. She hits it again. 13 to six, two threes for Alanis here in this first quarter. In the backcourt now. That's more threes. That's two more threes than we made the other night in the entire game. In the forecourt now, Martina shoots the three. She's right on line but misses. Ball inside. The foul, the rebound belongs to Baker. Baker's outlet pass to Azalea. Herford hustles, but they've got the advantage coming back. Azalea bluffs the three. London down low. Ball knocked away. Not a good pass that time as we tried to force it inside. 13 to 6, Herford. Minute 50 left, first quarter. White faces have scored nine of their points on threes here in this opening quarter. Apple bonds, and there's a jump ball. Good job by the white faces. It'll be uh, Perryton's ball, but a good job. I think that was Mitzel. I think no, that, no, no I think out. it was Sam. Sam, okay. Turned around and just tied it up. Good Perryton job. Perryton right, left it right out there in front of her. Talked to Sam after the game the other night. Bumped into her and foul. Foul on Laura on an illegal screen. Herford gets the ball back, leading by seven a minute, 38 left first quarter. Quickly up to midcourt to Baker. She fires it ahead down to Samantha. Throws it away, trying to get it down low to uh, Elliot, who had just come in. Alonzo. Uh, Alonzo, who had just come in. So we threw it away. Had a chance there for a bucket. Again, an errant pass cost us the ball. 128 left in the quarter, seven point lead. Martinez across midcourt. Left side pass now as they work it around the perimeter. Back to the outside. Down in the, there's a foul over on the far side on Al- Alanis, I believe, wasn't it? On 10? Or... Yep. Oh, okay. 10 it was. Azalea. Okay. Her first, the team's third in this first quarter. Inbounds from Perryton. They get it outside to Martinez in the corner. Shoot a three. It is no good. Rebound, Samantha. 13 to 7, Herford. Rahina across midcourt. Sam, just a sophomore. And again, a really, really good athlete. Great jeep, jumper. Here's Baker for three. It's no good. Rebound tipped around. It comes to Perryton. In the backcourt, Martinez has it for Perryton. She fires it ahead now quickly in the forecourt. Inside, Laura. Has it knocked away? Good job. It's, uh, yeah, it's a great job. Yeah. My face is playing. Kendall, Kendall knocked it away and uh, knocked it off of them. Mm-hmm. Azalea out and uh, Flores in. 13 to 6, Herford. 45 seconds left, first quarter. White faces with the basketball. Scored 10 the first three minutes and just scored a three pointer since then. Let's get one to end the quarter here. Here's Sam on the outside. Dribbles down to the right, now goes to the baseline, tries to throw it down low. It's out of bounds off of Perryton. Again, we get in there sometimes, and we just get a little too carried away. And that We were lucky Perryton knocked that ball out of bounds, honestly. All right, inbounds it comes now from Alonzo to Baker. Baker down on the baseline. She can't shoot. Back outside to Sam, 29 seconds. No rush here. 29 seconds left in the quarter. Back inside to Blair. Pull up jumper. Oh, oh, good. Down on the baseline. Rebound now to Perryton with 18 seconds left. They've got plenty of time. They throw long into the forecourt, though, and there's the ball. Ooh, Blair almost got a steal. Martinez. Martinez dribbles it. Gives it off on the outside now. Down in the right corner. Little runner in the lane. Wow, what a nice left-handed right. shot at the buzzer. 13-8. White faces by five. We're back in 30 seconds. 
did you know that every internet connected device poses a risk to your home network? Protect IQ from WTRT and WT Services provides an extra layer of protection by blocking viruses, malware, and malicious attacks. It even works on devices such as smart thermostats and video doorbells. Protect your home today by adding Protect IQ to your internet service plan. Don't have the WT Smart Home app? Download it in app stores today. Needing extra income? Looking for a full-time job with advancement opportunities? McDonald's in Hereford is hiring full-time and part-time people who are energetic and customer-focused. At McDonald's, you will be able to work flexible hours, whether it's three hours or eight hours per day. Benefits include a free meal when you're working and a 30% discount when you're off-duty. Earn a vacation benefit and $10 an hour and above with experience. To apply, just text TX162 to 38000. All right, 13-8 Hereford after one quarter. We had a good quarter, but uh, Perryton kind of hung in there, Coach. Got yeah, to, yeah, a good good end to the first quarter yeah. for them for sure. They got down 10-2 and wound up uh, now just five down. Hereford with the ball in the forecourt now. Arissa on the outside gives it to Baker. Baker starts in the lane, dumps it off to Grajeda, who scoops it up. Get in there. She's fouled, and she'll shoot two. Couldn't get it to fall. I, I started a moment ago. Talk to Sam. You know, I mean, this was a nice conversation. She surely, but we just talked about how much more comfortable she feels right now mm -hmm. out here, and you can just tell right. in the way she plays. And she said uh, that was true. I mean, she she owned up to that. It's fun to watch kiddos as they play and get better and better. And she makes the first free throw to make it 14 to eight. She'll shoot the second one now. We've got uh, Blair who'll come in for. Samantha, if she makes this free throw, so she might miss it on purpose. She did. She missed it. <laughs> Probably not on purpose, but uh, she did miss it. So Blair doesn't get in the game, and back the other way comes. Oh, that's the second time now that Sam has reached in and got it whistled on her. And that's two fouls on her with 7.31 left in the half. She was coming out. Boy, she'd made the free throw. She wouldn't have gotten that foul, Coach, but she did. <laughs> there you go. 14-8. Herford by six, Perryton with the ball in the forecourt. Look at that. Good job by Flores. I mean, she's given up a foot down the baseline now. That's the lefty shooting, missing, rebound Blair or Baker. Baker now passes up the floor to Arissa. Here come the white faces. Quickly ahead now in the corner. Down the baseline, ooh, and getting fouled. That's a good job by Flores. She is quick. She's got, I mean, you can tell she's she's been in the gym a lot. She's got a lot of a lot of savvy of what's going on on the floor. Just a sophomore, Flores is. Irvin with the ball, leading by six. 7.09 left in the half. Blair to put it in play. Inbounds, it comes out to Azalea. Azalea at the top of the circle now. Left side pass. Perryton's gotten back in a zone here. Mitzel back to Baker. Baker looks at the three, doesn't take it. Passes off now on the baseline. Back outside to Arissa. Set it up, we'll go again. Arissa left side pass to Mitzel. Mitzel bounces it over to Flores. Flores outside the three-point line, dribbles inside. Dumps it back now to Arissa. Arissa to the bucket, she's fouled and she'll shoot two. If you take it to the bucket, I'm telling you, yep. you got a chance, a pretty good chance of being fouled. She did, and they did, and now Arissa will shoot two with Herford leading 14-8 to eight, and 6.39 remaining in the first quarter of play. Three quick fouls in this quarter for yeah. Perryton. She makes the first from 15-8. to eight. Herford by seven. White-faced guys will follow this one. And again, uh, in need of a win. Both free throws are good by Arissa, and the white-faces lead at 16-8. In the backcourt, oh, we had a chance for a steal, didn't get it. Perry's in the head in the forecourt now to Doherty. Doherty trapped over there, and we wind up with a jump ball. It'll be Perryton's ball, but a good job again by Flores. Yeah, Otto's a toughie, and she's one, boy. She's She has not felt good these last few days. Oh, yeah. So good to see her out there getting some minutes and not struggling. Into 
the corner. Perryton works it outside now. Doherty, Martinez. Martinez open for a three, shoots it and misses it, and the rebound comes right to Perryton, and they shoot and make. And this time the bucket belongs to Vela. 16 to 10, the lead is six. 6-12 six, left in the half. Floor is across midcourt. Left side pass now to Arissa. She goes through against the zone. 2-3 zone now for Perryton. Mitzel outside, tries to get in the lane, can't. Dumps it off to Arissa. Arissa steps back and shoots a three and misses, and the rebound comes right to Appelhans. And back the other way comes Perryton. Down by a half dozen with 5.45 left in the half. On the outside, they work the weave. Give it away. Now Baker, good defense. Oh, great pass inside off the glass. Appelhans with the bucket, but Martinez with the play. 16 to 12. That is exactly how that play ought to yep. be run, isn't it? It is. <coughs> Came out to help. She fired it right past our defender. Herford now up by four. Ahead now to Mitzel. Mitzel on the outside, left side to Ada. Cross court now. Arissa with the ball, open for a three. She'll shoot it and it won't go and the rebound belongs to the Ranger Etts or the Etts. Back the other way they come now. In the forecourt, Doherty dribbles inside. Great pass to Applehans off the glass and in. 16-14, a couple of penetrations and dumps, and it's a two-point game, and we're back in 30 seconds. Hereford ISD, we are committed to children and dedicated to excellence. Hereford ISD encompasses over 900 square miles. We educate approximately 4,000 students each year and employ approximately 650 employees. Hereford ISD buses over 700 students to and from school each day. We provide 14 bus routes and drive over 1,100 miles per day. We choose to make a difference in the lives of all of our children. Go Herd! Well, if you're watching at home via the magic of television and Anastasia's wonderful work up above, <laughs> you've watched the last two times Perryton scored. I mean, they've done it. You know, you don't like to see that, but they've done it just like you should, Coach. I mean, that's the yeah. way you yeah, we're we're not. So you talked about driving, and yep. we'll get some fouls called. They're driving and scoring. Yep, <laughs> they surely are penetrating and dumping off down low. Herford throws it away, and just like that, the two-point lead is that much more in jeopardy. And in now comes uh, Ramirez. She replaces uh, Flores, freshman for sophomore. And Ramirez now will be out on the point. We've also uh, subbed in during that last time out. Kira Gutierrez. Around the perimeter, period, open for a three, it's no good. Rebound off to Herford. Kendall's got it, and behind, oops. Taken away from the backside by Perryton, they'll go again. Kendall had a wolf come up on the backside of her, took the ball, here's Vela down the lane, puts it up, it's no good. Rebound off to Herford, foul I think. Let's see, no nope, fouls on Herford. Fouls on Mitzel. 420 left first half. The Hereford, what was once an eight point lead, is down to two, and Vela shoots two free throws here. First one's up and good. 16 to 15. Sturgeon checks in for Mitzel. And a second chance for Vela. Again, Vela's probably, Vela and Applehans are probably both 5'10, as I said, maybe 5'11, honestly. She makes them both. Boy, nice shot. 16 all. This game's tied up. Vela comes out. She's replaced by Harris, and up the floor come the White Faces with Ramirez out on the point. Sturgeon on her right. Herford sets it up on the right side now. Pass outside to Kira down on the baseline to Kendall in the lane off the glass. She'll shoot two. Applehines with a foul. 4.04 left first half. We did a good job that time getting mm -hmm. it inside, taking it to the bucket, drawing the foul. Fourth foul in this quarter. All right, so we'll have two the rest of the mm -hmm. night. 404 left in the first half. Kendall misses the first. We stay tied at 16. Second chance here now as the White Faces uh, and their hands full with the visitors from Perryton tonight. 17 16. Kendall makes one of them. Tie a whistle and sub coming in. Martinez comes back in the ball game in Vela. They just gave each of them a little bit of a blow here for a minute or so, and back we go. One-point Hereford lead, 4.04 left in the first half. 
in the backcourt. With the ball up the floor, Bella is fouled by Cadence. That's the third foul against Herford. 3.59 still remains in the half, so both teams, Herford will be shooting two on the next foul. And Perryton uh, needs two fouls by Herford to get that two-point, two-shot range. Up the floor comes Martinez, 17-16 Herford. Martinez dribbles in the lane again. This time she puts up the shot and draws the foul on the white faces. It was, uh, I think, uh, Gutierrez. Yep, Gutierrez got her two free throws for Martinez. Well, Martinez is a good point guard. She's about 5'8", so handles the ball really well. And that time she'd been dumping it off. That time she took the shot and drew the foul and made the first free throw, and we're tied at 17. 3.51 left in the first half. Whiteface has led it 10 to two at one point, but uh, the Etts have battled back. She missed this one, and the rebound comes to the Whitefaces. Gutierrez to Ramirez, and here we go. Across midcourt, little point guard penetrates, puts it up off the glass, it's no good. Rebound comes to Perryton, stolen by Kendall. Back it comes to Azalea. Cadet shoots a three, it's no good. Rebound off to Perryton. Herford tries to tie it up, does or does not. It, it was a jump ball, we got it back. Tied at 17, 331 left in the first half. White faces with the basketball. Boy, we need a bucket this We do, quarter. we do, we just need, yep. Need some offense. Inbounds from Azalea into Sturgeon down low. She puts it up. It's no good. Rebound fought for, and Ramirez comes back with it. So this is our third chance on this possession. Ramirez, a 15-footer. It's no good, and the rebound comes down to Perryton. Martinez back the other way. 313 left in the half, all tied up at 17. Martinez outside the Vela. Vela spins around, takes it in the lane. Puts it up off the glass, misses the shot. Rebound off to Gutierrez. Gutierrez to Ramirez. Cadence across midcourt. Dribbles all the way down. Puts it up off the glass, no good again. Rebound, out of bounds. Nope, saved inbounds by Ramirez. Good hustle by the freshman. Outside to Azalea. She bluffs the shot, takes it in there. Draws the foul. She'll shoot two. Foul is on Bella. That's number five. It, doesn't have any bearing on this. She was shooting, so she gets two, but 17-17 uh, score, and the senior puts the first one in. 18-17 Herford, 2.47 left till the intermission. White face Jim tonight. Tom and Brenda with you. Baker going to check in and does, along with uh, they've had uh, for the past few minutes uh, Laura on the bench. And that's a good place for her if you're a Whiteface fan. I think she's the, she's their best player. <clears throat> Free throws up. She made them both. 19-17. Azalea's got eight points now. Full court pressure this time by the Whitefaces. Martinez in the backcourt against the double team. Tries to get up the floor. Can't. Gets trapped. Throws it up near midcourt. Herford's right there. And a foul. Nope. Timeout call by Perryton. 237 left in the half. My face is lead by two, back in 30 seconds. The community of Hereford continues to be committed to the Hereford White Faces. Just as Happy State Bank is committed to our customers, perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key ingredients for success both on and off the field of play. Whether you are cheering on the Hereford White Faces, starting a business, or planning for the future, Happy State Bank is here for all your life's moments. Let us be your partner at Happy State Bank. Visit us in person or at happybank.com. Happy State Bank, a division of Centennial Bank, member FDI. Equal housing lender. Back at Whiteface, Jim, 1917. Herford, uh, Perryton with the ball, 237 left in the first half. Looking across the way, can't help but notice that Captain Williams, along with uh, Ryan Hedrick, both stand with their arms folded. Coach Naren doesn't know he has his hands in his pockets. <laughs> That's not the way you're supposed to stand. Perryton with the ball, a little weave outside, throw it away, ball's loose, Perryton gets it. Back to the bucket now, Martinez tied up by Azalea. It'll be Perryton's ball, but we've done a good job of just getting in there and getting the ball tied up. Yeah, Martinez trying to cross over right in front of Azalea, and she'd have none of it. No. Nope. Perryton inbounds it. Doherty inbounds to Martinez. Martinez sets it up. Hernandez on her, or Gutierrez on her. Left side pass to Vela. Vela bluffs the shot. Now we get a foul on Gutierrez, and that is our 
fifth. Fifth. Two free throws, 2.13 left in the half. Well, Vela will shoot. Vela's a really good shooter. We're up by two. She can tie it up. Mitchell will shoot, go in the ball game after the first free throw. It's up, it's good. 19-18. Well, I tell you, free throw shooters who get the ball, dribble it once, and shoot like that, I mean, they're just nearly always good shooters. 19-18. Just relaxed. Uh-oh, she dribbled it three times. That could be bad. She missed. It was. It was. Rebound Herford. Here comes the White Faces with a one-point lead. Ramirez quickly down the floor. Ramirez down the baseline on the right side. Can't shoot. Dribbles, passes back outside to Azalea. Azalea back to Cadence. Cadence dribbles outside the perimeter. Again, Vela's about a foot taller, and we've got a whistle, and a ball came out on the floor. Uh-oh. Somebody's embarrassed. One of the little basketballs that got thrown in the stands beforehand came out. We're okay. Arissa in. Cadence out. 156 left in the half. We lead by one and have the ball. Inbounding will be Azalea. Now Apple Hans comes back in for the Rets. How tall you think she is? I don't know. With the bun on her head, 6'3". Yes. Yeah, no <laughs> she's about 5'10", but... She's got a bun that stands up there that makes her a little taller. Inbounds to Blair. Blair dribbles down the lane but passes back outside. Now Zaya at the top of the circle with Bella on her. Passes back out. Oh, we lose it. Martinez breaks down the floor. Martinez pulls up. She's fouled. She'll shoot two. The foul's on Arissa. Probably a good foul. A minute 43 left in the half. Arissa kind of limping when she comes back. I don't know what... Uh, favoring her left leg. She's got a knee wrap on it, knee brace on it. I think she wants out. No. First free throw is good. We're tied at 19. Yep, she's coming out, and uh, she'll be replaced by uh, Giselle Hernandez. A junior comes in. 19-19, 1.43 till a half. The White Faces and Perryton all tied up here on this Tuesday night. Free throw, she made them both. They are good free throw shooters. They're good shooters. Full court pressure now. Giselle gets it, turns and passes to Azalea, who gives it to Mitzel, who fires it to Baker, who gives it to Blair, who puts it off the glass. And just like that, the white face is back on top. 21-20. That's the way you attack yep. the pressure. You got it. Good passes all around. Excellent pass by London there. Around the perimeter now. The Reds, there's a steal by Blair. She can't break free. The ball's loose. It goes back to period. And I'll be darned, couldn't get a handle on it. 115 left in the half. Herford up by one. Bella with the ball outside. Gives it off to Martinez. Martinez with the Xavier on her. Back to Vela. Vela around the perimeter. Going to go inside. If she go. we let her go. And she goes to the bucket and she scores. Oh, my. I don't know what we were doing there, but we just turned her loose. Again, the full court pressure. Azalea inbounds it up to midcourt to... Giselle, ball's knocked out of bounds by Perryton. It'll still be Herford's ball with 49 seconds left in the half. We trail 22-21, led by five when this quarter began. So obviously we've been outscored by six thus far in the quarter. Got a chance to reclaim the lead here. Azalea on the left side. Bella on her. Back out top of the circle to Mitzel. Mitchell right side to Blair. 38 seconds left. Blair down the baseline. Off the glass and in. Nice move, Kendall Blair. 23-22. White faces by one. 30 seconds left in the half. Martinez quickly ahead. Darty shoots a three. It's good. Wow. 25-23. Darty got it and shot it just in the blink of an eye. Azalea back the other way. She's trapped in the corner. The ball's loose. Perryton's got it. Now they can expand this two-point lead. Ten seconds left in the half. Martinez to Darty. She shoots another three. She does not make this one, but Applehans gets the rebound. She gets another shot. She doesn't make this one. Herford gets the rebound, and we're at halftime. 25-23. The White Faces trail by two after Perryton played some good second-quarter <coughs> basketball. They did play some good second-quarter basketball. Let's say six, a four, six, eight. They made six out of eight free no. throws, a three, and had four buckets in. We just got, Kendall had two buckets late in that second wow. quarter. Um, and let's see, we had eight, we made six out of eight free throws, but we're just not yeah. being able to penetrate the lane and and work anything to the inside at all. And I get it, they're, they're 
giants down yeah, under there. They're pretty. They're pretty they're good size. But, they're, uh, they're a good basketball team. I'm they are. They, got, they, indeed they are. Got eight players. That they don't have a J. Or don't have a freshman team. Just got eight players on the varsity, but uh, they've got they've got some that can play. I mean, Martinez and Laura and Bella and uh, they've all and already hit that three there right at the end. So. Whiteface guys and the Perryton guys both out warming up. We're going to take a break here for two minutes, and we'll be back courtside. Herford trails by two at the half, back in two minutes. The brightest star in the Lone Star State, Stevens five-star car and truck center. One price selling makes it easy to buy. You get five-star treatment, we treat you great. We're stars in great selection. Whatever your type of home, experience a new level of home comfort with the new Bryant Evolution System. When installed with the Evolution Connects Control, this advanced system can communicate with both your indoor and outdoor units for increased comfort and efficiency. Ask your Bryant dealer about an Evolution heating and cooling system today. Call Bob's Heating and Air at 364-1195, your local factory authorized Bryant dealer. As the new year unfolds, new projects are born. If you are interested or have any questions regarding a consumer or commercial loan, First National Bank of Hereford can assist you. You will be working with Hereford's only locally owned bank. Applying is easy with our online consumer application or visit any of our locations to apply for your personal or business needs. First National Bank of Hereford, we have roots where others have branches. Member FDIC and Equal House. Lender. Texas Farm Bureau Insurance has protected fellow Texans with auto, home, health, and life insurance since 1952. With more than 260,000 square miles of land and 27 million people, that's a lot to cover. Whether you're wrangling cattle or wrangling kids, we're proud to protect Texans in all Texan ways of life. Call Deaf Smith County Farm Bureau at 806-364-1070 to speak with an agent today. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. The score is 25-23. The ladies from Perryton lead the ladies from Hereford. And the Whiteface uh, can ill afford a loss here tonight. Uh, as, you know, we set three and four in the first round. Uh, here, are the, here are the leaders after round one in the ladies. Uh, Randall 7-0, and oh, Canyon 6-1, and one, West Plains is 5-2. and two. So Canyon lost to Randall. West Plains lost to both Canyon and Randall. And then third place is uh, Pampa. They beat us up in Pampa. Herford, three and four in fifth place, or one place out of the playoffs, if you will. Borger at two and five. Perryton, I, I got a coach who's visiting with uh, Claudia right now, but uh, I got to talk about this. I mean, Perryton is one and six. I do not see how they could be one and six. They are they're a pretty good basketball team. I'll tell you, they lead the white faces by two here at the half, but I mean it's good been good basketball. It hadn't been like somebody somebody uh didn't play well on either side of the ball. Both of them I thought played an excellent first half. But and Dumas is 0-7. They're the only winless team in the district. The White Faces uh on the season. Herbert's won sixteen, lost nine. Uh Borgers 13 and 9. Perryton's won 10. They're 10 and 15 on the overall, but 1 and 6 in the district. Uh, Randall's 20 and 6. Canyon 17 and 6. And West Plains 19 and 7. Papa 17 and 8. So, I mean, those first five teams, six teams actually, when you count Borger, uh, all well above 500. 20 and 6, 17 and 6, 19 and 7, 17 and 8, 16 and 9. That's the records of the first through fifth place teams, uh, Randall Canyon, West Plains, Pampa, and Hereford. But only four advanced, so uh, somebody along uh, the pampa hereford Border line there is not going to make the postseason. Charlie Garza just strolling by there. Coach Garza always busy doing something. Again, Claudia, the uh, softball coach, and we were just talking what a great weather it's been for softball uh, teams to get ready here. Uh, for some reason, she said, uh, they would practiced indoors the last two days. I can't imagine why. But uh, it's going to warm up. Tomorrow's going to be warm, about 60. The wind's going to be about 60. Uh, 
Thursday, I think, supposed to be in the upper 50s and not the wind, which is much preferable. And even today, I got out and did a little walk in this afternoon, and uh, with no wind, I mean, you know, it, it's comfortable even at 28 degrees. It really is if you're kind of bundled up. But the white face is here, uh, trailing 25 23 inside the warm confines of white face gym. First half scoring. Uh, Azalea's got eight. She's hit two threes and two free throws. Arissa's got seven. She's hit a three, a two, and two free throws. Uh, three for Samantha and five for Kendall. Again, Samantha got two fouls, uh, as did Kira Gutierrez off the bench. On the other side, a good balance for the uh, Puritan ladies. Uh, nine points for Bella. Again, she plays on the wing, kind of gets on a high post, is able to drive, can shoot the ball. She's got three buckets, and she's three out of four at the free throw line for her nine points. Then uh, Doherty's just got the one three. Six points for Laura. All those came in the first quarter. Apple Hans has four. Those came in the second quarter. So it's 25-23, a two-point lead for Perryton. And we'll take a break here for 60 seconds. Be back courtside in one minute. Did you know that every internet-connected device poses a risk to your home network? Protect IQ from WTRT and WT Services provides an extra layer of protection by blocking viruses, malware, and malicious attacks. It even works on devices such as smart thermostats and video doorbells. Protect your home today by adding Protect IQ to your internet service plan. Don't have the WT Smart Home app? Download it in app stores today. Did you know that all prepaid funeral plans are transferable? If you purchased a prepaid funeral plan through another funeral home, you are not in any way obligated to use that funeral home in your time of need. The Texas Department of Banking and the Texas Department of Insurance allow individuals to change funeral homes and use the funeral home of their choice. Allow Mendez and Mullins Family Funeral Home and our licensed funeral directors to explain the easy process of transferring your funeral plan. Herford's only family-owned and operated funeral home. Our family serving your family. All right, back courtside. Tom and Brenda with you here at halftime. Whiteface is trailing by two. Again, the two boys squad's out getting loose right now, getting ready to meet in a bit. Uh, again, this is the next to the last game of the first round for the boys, sixth game of seven. I was looking there, Coach, 7-0. Uh, and oh is uh, Randall, six and one is Canyon, five and two is West Plains, four and three is uh, uh, Pampa, uh, three and four are us, uh, Borders two and five, get this, Perryton is one and six. Now, isn't that hard to imagine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the White Faces uh, guys out, as I said, shooting right now, trying to get warmed up, ready for what should be a rock 'em sock 'em boys game here in the second half of our doubleheader. I'll take a picture of you that. To, okay, Coach Kitten's going to take a picture. We're taking pictures of the roster. So what do you do? I mean, if you're us, I mean, and, and I, honestly, I, I don't think we've played badly. We've probably not shot as well as we could. Thanks. Well, our, our offense isn't doing much to help us yeah. right now. Um, you know, we're we're moving the ball around in the offense, but we're not – we're not creating good options for ourselves. And uh, that's, that's got to be some of the frustrating part. And then what is really frustrating, I know for, for, Coach, uh, uh, for Coach Taylor is, is when um, these guys have just gotten an opportunity to drive in yeah. and drive around us. And there's been three of those, maybe four, and uh, that, that's frustrating as can be. Yeah. Well, you got to, I mean, Martinez scored, I think, two points in the first half. There's two free throws that she made, but, you know, she probably had four assists, three assists at least. And you can tell, I mean, she handles the ball well. She runs the team well, and that's that's a real, yeah. real plus. But 17 in the second quarter? I know. It should, that shouldn't be. From a team that's one in six in the district. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're investigating this. There's got to be steroids or something involved in this. <laughs> White faces and... Rangerettes back out, ready to go in the second half. The officials are back, and we're back. So, what do you think uh, NFL games this weekend, Coach? You got any predictions? Oh, gosh, I don't have any predictions. 
Can Jordan can Jordan Love go out there and figure out a way to play against the San Fran defense? I don't think so. I mean, I think he can, but I don't. I don't yeah. think they can beat be San Francisco. A whole different deal on it. I think he will. I do, but we'll be seeing how that works. Uh, new knee brace on for Arissa. She's running some lines back and forth, but it's much heavier knee brace. She she was gimpy there, certainly. Yeah, toward, the knee gives yeah. her trouble sometimes. Yep. Just a sophomore. Wait till she gets to be 80. 25 <laughs> <laughs> 23, Herford with the ball as we start the final half of play here at Whiteface Gym. Arissa will put it in play to uh, Samantha. Samantha with two fouls. Baker's out there, Blair, Mitzel. We have not been able to do anything on the inside. Mitzel down low. We just hadn't been able to get her in a shooting position. Outside now, Baker at the top of the circle. Right side pass tipped out of bounds by Martinez. It'll still be Herford's ball. Did a good job of knocking away from Sam right there at the last moment. Batted it out of bounds. Herford gets it back. Believe that Perryton has gotten back in. A, nope, not in a man. They're still in the zone. Herford on the outside now. Left side to Baker. Down on the left corner. It goes to Blair. Blair dribbles a couple of times, gives it off now to Azalea down the baseline. Little runner up and in. Great shot. 25 all. Boy, that's a tough shot. One-handed runner on the baseline about eight feet away. 25 all now. Perryton with the ball. They shoot the three. Vela, guess what? It's good. 28-25. Vela, leading scorer on the night for both teams. Azalea for three. Nope. Off the back of the iron, there goes Blair. She gets it. They call a foul on Blair for going up. Kendall makes a face. She wasn't thrilled with the call. It probably was right. It was close. We could have done without it. 28-25, Perryton by three with the ball. Applehans took a shot to the nose. Oh, yeah, she got hit on the nose. She's nose in our JV game, too. She has to take her bloody nose to the bench as... They come down, Martinez dribbles to her left. Three-point shot by Bella, no good. Laura, though, gets the rebound back outside to Doherty. Down the lane she goes, dumps it off. Travel gives it back to Herford. Tried to do a jump stop in there and dish it off, but uh, got called for the put her feet down uh, two separate times. All right, here we go. Zaya up the floor for the white faces. Ahead to Samantha. Samantha across midcourt, right side pass to Kendall. Inside to Mitzel. Mitzel double team back outside to Baker for three. It is no good. Rebound off to Mitzel. Great hustle. Again, three point uh, missed shot, offensive rebounds. Disproportionate. Oh, Baker makes a bad pass trying to lob it into Mitzel. Back the other way we go. 628 left third quarter. Herford down by three. Doherty on the outside. Doherty to Martinez. Martinez around the perimeter to Laura. Laura gives it back to Doherty. Again, a little weave out front. Martinez has it in the lane. Throws it down the corner, down the baseline. Laura misses the shot, goes and gets the rebound. The ball's loose. It's out of bounds. Saved by Blair. Herford down by three with the ball. 6.04 left third quarter. Again, we try to get it inside to Mitzel. Can't. They knock it away. We're fortunate to get it back on the outside. Now with the ball on the left side, down on the baseline it goes. Samantha's got it, but she can't shoot. Doherty's got her. Inside Mitzel. Mitzel in the lane. Back to Sam. Outside to Baker for three. It is no good. In and out. Rebound. And Blair just got another one going over the back, trying to get a rebound. And that is her second. They both come come trying to get offensive rebounds here in this third quarter. Applehans back in. Perryton with the ball and a three-point lead. 5.41 left third quarter. Martinez brings it up the floor. Martinez on the outside. We beat them, I think, by 10 it was in Perryton. But, uh, it was close near the It was close, the end. yeah. Yes. This is a little behind the back. Laura's got it, and she loses it, and it's loose on the floor, and they get it back, and Martinez gets it. A travel. Martinez moved while sitting on the floor. I don't know. We see that call. I, I, I never know what they're going to But the, they call travel. I think it was a great call. It was on them. 519, <laughs> the third quarter. Sam's got it. I do. I don't know what different officials see it different ways. Baker's open down low, but we can't get her the ball, and she travels. Gives it right back. 
5.07. London got it down on the baseline, but uh, lost the handling a little bit as she tried to get, I don't know, I think they said she stepped out of bounds. Either way, it's a turnover. They've got the ball. Her dad and grandmother, Janie, look on up there. Janie's sitting next to Bobby, trying to keep him under control. Here's Martinez now in the forecourt. Great pass down low, missed shot, rebound out of bounds off her. Again, they did a good job of getting that ball down on the baseline, missed the shot, but uh, good ball movement by Perryton. They're leading by three. We're inside five minutes to play in the third quarter. Martinez to Doherty. She bluffs the three, takes it in the lane, off the glass, no good. Rebound fought for, out of bounds, off of Perryton. You hear <laughs> Coach Taylor. She's right. She's right. Here we go. Quickly ahead now, Baker. Baker on the baseline. She can't shoot. Passes back outside to Blair. Blair to Sam. is three. It is no good, but the rebound comes to Blair in the corner. Back out front to Mitzel. Mitzel gives it to Samantha. 4.30 left third quarter. White faces trail by three. Samantha around the perimeter. Goes down on the baseline. Can't shoot. She's fouled, I think, is the call. Yep. Foul is on Doherty. It is their first of this second half, I believe, right? Yes. We've got two. Her third, though. Her third, okay. <coughs> 424 left, third quarter. 28-25, Herford down by three. Azalea inbounds it to Blair. She takes it inside, off the glass, misses the shot, draws the foul on Applehans, and she'll shoot two with 420 left in the third quarter. Again, I don't care where you play basketball. If you can get it in the lane and get up a shot of some kind, you've got a chance, A, to make it, or B, to get fouled, or both. First free throw is good, 28-26. You probably didn't know that, Coach, but that's the truth. It's the way it's played. It is. Blair with a second chance here. 420 left in the third quarter. 28-26, 28-27. Kendall makes them both. So it's a one-point game, Rangerettes with the ball. And up the floor we go. In the forecourt, Doherty, a long three, it's no good. Rebound is up, we've got three players up there. The ball comes finally to Blair. Kendall just took it away, down the floor. Arissa back in the game, does not shoot, passes instead to Samantha. Samantha outside the three-point line, dribbles around to her right. She goes to the bucket, nice move, shot up and in. And She's whistled for her third foul, a charge. Doherty took the charge. Doherty did a good job she did. of getting over there it was. and getting position. It was. Sam did a good job of taking the bucket, but three fouls now. She comes out. Alonzo comes in. 3.52 left, third quarter. And down by one. Now Perryton's got the ball. Alonzo, Azalea, Arissa, Mitzel, and uh, who did I leave that? Kendall. In the forecourt now, Perryton inside to Laura in traffic. She goes to the floor. Herford comes up with the ball, and it's still loose, and Herford gets it ahead now to Arissa. Perryton wanted to travel on Herford there, but didn't get it. Here's Arissa in the forecourt. Applehans on her. She shoots a three. It's no good. Rebound is out of a Nope, saved inbounds. Little kicking contest there between Applehans and Blair that went uncalled. 3-10 left in the quarter. Herford down by one. Laura with the ball in the lane, and we've got a foul on Arissa, I think. That is number, yep, number three on the white faces in the quarter, number two on Arissa in the game, number four on the white faces. So they'll be shooting two the rest of this quarter. 3.05 left in the quarter. Inbounds Laura. Great block by Mitzel, but it's out of bounds off her. She Great block, huh? Great block. <laughs> great block. That's what it was. Didn't call a foul, so it was a great block. We trail by one. There's 3.03 left in the third quarter. The Rangerettes ready to put it in play, and they do so to no one because Arissa takes it away. Two on four fast break. She slows it up, passes outside to Alonzo. Alonzo with a couple of dribbles, goes around the left side. 2.46 left, third quarter. Oops. She was going to pass. She went up. Her foot left the floor. She didn't pass it, and that's a travel all the time. Perryton's ball, 28-27. Neither team able to get much going in this quarter. Perryton scored three. We've scored 
four, right? Three yep, and four. four. All right, Martinez with the ball for Perryton. She dribbles to her left, passes off on the baseline. Three, no good. Rebound inside. Oh, my. We get the rebound. Applehan's got away with one there. As the White Faces get the ball, though, down by one. Arissa in the forecourt. Dribbles down the left side. Passes it inside. Applehan's over the back. Applehan's has gotten real frustrated. Mm-hmm. She got <coughs> away with a couple of fouls here in this quarter, and she's, you can tell they're going to get her out of there. Nope, taking Laura out. Yeah, that's just her second foul, though. I thought yeah. she had more than that. I thought they were going to kind of – she's really, you can tell. I mean, she's very frustrated. Herford brings Azalea out. Now we've got Sam with three fouls back in there along with Blair. Baker, Baker's got to inbound it and does so now to Samantha. 2.20 left in the quarter. Herford down 28-27. Arissa will check in on the next whistle. On the outside now, Samantha. Again, playing with three fouls. She starts down the baseline, steps in there, and she draws the foul. She'll shoot two. She stepped between two defenders that time to avoid a charge. That's doggery. Nope. Called on uh, the recent sub who came in the ball game, uh, Johnson, probably the best foul that they could get. 2.07 left third quarter. Sam makes it a tie game at 28 all. Arissa in, Mitzel out. Bless her heart. You get, she gets that thing off her face as quick as she can. Yeah. It is very, very difficult to play with that plastic guard over her nose. Sam misses this one. We're tied at 28, and there's the takeaway by Arissa after the miss. Good job by Alanis. She gives it to Samantha. Samantha to Baker. Baker over to Alonzo. Alonzo shoots a three. It's no good. Rebound off to... Perryton, 150 left in the quarter. Perryton and Perford tied at 28. Martinez, long three by Darty. It is no good. Rebound Blair. Well, Blair does a good job on the boards. Blair back the other way, brings it across midcourt. Right side pass goes now to Samantha. Samantha has a three but doesn't take it. Gets it to Baker. Baker has it knocked away, but Samantha gets it back. 124 left in a tie game here in the third quarter. Gutierrez will check in on the next whistle down the baseline now. A little left-handed shot up and no good by Arissa. Rebound, Perryton. Back the other way they come. Ahead to Doherty. Doherty fires it cross court. They shoot the three. It is no good. The rebound belongs to the White Faces. Bella missed from long distance that time. A minute left in the quarter. Tied at 28. Sam's open. Doesn't take the three. Drives in the lane. Puts a little runner up. It's no good. It's off of Perryton. Out of bounds. Well, Sam missed a couple of threes, and I think that time she probably should have taken it, but a little hesitant. 28 all, 53 seconds left in the quarter. Gutierrez inbounds it to Baker. Baker out front to Arissa. Left side now to Gutierrez. Back to Arissa. Arissa to the left side, off to Blair. 10-footer up and good. Herford reclaims the lead at 30-28 on Kendall Blair's jumper with 39 seconds left in the quarter. Kendall or, heating up in this second yeah. half. That's, that is quite typical of her. Yeah. Well, you really need her, too. In the forecourt now, Vela's got the ball for Perryton down the baseline. She goes, and a foul is called on Blair, I think. Yep. That's three on her all in this quarter. 30-28. Now the White Faces bring Arista back in. Perryton's going to shoot two free throws. Chance to tie the game here. Vela is the shooter, and she has been very good at the line. Puts the first one up, and it's good. 30-29. Arissa and Mitzel in. Samantha and uh, Blair out. Both of them have three fouls. 26 seconds left, third quarter. Bella can tie it up now at 30. And she does. 30 all. Herford inbounds it. A little full court pressure up here, up the floor to Arissa. She dribbles into the double team. Now still dribbling. Brings it. Up to midcourt and across. Ahead to Baker. Baker heads to the bucket. Off it goes to Azalea for three. It's no no good. Rebound inside Mitzel. It's no good. Rebound off to Perryton. Wow. Seven seconds left in the quarter. Oh. Down the floor comes Martinez. She shoots a runner at the buzzer. It's no good. The White Faces get the rebound. 30-30 is the score. We'll come back with the final eight minutes in one minute. 
Herd athletes work tirelessly on the fundamentals of their particular sport while learning to work in a team concept. It's not much different at Hereford Texas Federal Credit Union. Our employees have a dedication to serve our members daily with the fundamentals of good business. Being friendly and helping give you peace of mind and knowing that when you need banking assistance, you can get it from our knowledgeable staff. Hereford Texas Federal Credit Union, member NCUA, working as a team since 1936 with our members. Go Herd! Hey, you. Yeah, you. You should be watching or listening to the game in style with a new sectional, sofa, love seat, and or recliner from Hereford Furniture Exchange. Check out the huge selection of new brand name furniture, mattresses, appliances, and electronics at Hereford Furniture Exchange. 209 East Park Avenue in Hereford. Open seven days a week. Financing options available with no credit needed and an initial payment as low as $10. Merchandise in stock. Buy today. Take home today. All right, we have eight minutes left to play, and we have decided nothing in the first 24, Coach. It's I, 30 to 30. I'm telling you, this is worrisome. <laughs> You're a lady whiteface fan. Yep. You need to be rooting whatever it is to bring us luck. We need to see that right now. It's a, yep. They're battling. I'm, uh, and Perryton is doing a yeah. fine job out on the basketball court. Both teams, I mean, yep. we, we outscored them 7 to 5 that quarter, so both teams cooled considerably. Yeah. And probably one or the other is going to get warm here in this fourth quarter. Here's Martinez outside. Off to Doherty. Sam with three fouls. Got to be a little little cautious. In the corner now. Bella's got it. Good man-to-man defense for the white faces. Back to Doherty. Sam on her. Doherty off to Laura. Oh, Sam reaches in and gets her fourth. Uh, can't. That three of the four that she's gotten tonight have been when she reaches in. That's her fourth foul, 7.41 left. Perryton inbounds the ball, 30-30 score. I don't know if they're going to get Sam out of there or not. Apple Hans has got it back to Doherty, down the baseline she goes. Passes back in the corner. They shoot the three and make the three. Is that Bella or Dor- Bella? 33-30. Perryton up by three. Herford in the forecourt to Arissa. She shoots from the outside and misses, and the rebound belongs to Perryton. And back the other way they come. Doherty quickly head to Martinez. Martinez inside down low to Vela. Vela in traffic, puts the shot up. It's no good. Rebound off to Mitzel. Bodies all over the floor. We wind up with a foul on Vela. They just kept on to the point where the official had to call something, I think. That is two on Vela. 6.57 6.57 left. Herford down by three. Now the White Pacers get Samantha out of there with four fouls. She comes out of the ball game. Again, she's so good, so aggressive. But just, you know, the reach foul, she's just got to gotta back off a little bit there. Here we go. Herford down by three with the ball. Inside bad pass. Threw it away. Tried to lob it in there. Blair did to Mitzel. It just wasn't what we needed to do. We trailed 33-30. to 30. Here's Doherty back the other way. Doherty at the top of the circle gives it to Martinez. Martinez off to Laura. Laura back to Doherty. Back to Martinez. Give it back to now Vela, who comes around, taken away by Arissa. Arissa picked her pocket. Now she can't fast break it, but gets it down the floor, gets it off to Azalea. Azalea's got it on the left side with 6.14 left in the corner. Far side, Blair with the ball. Herford trails 33 to 30. Azalea down the baseline. Back outside. Mitzel for three. It's no good. Applehans with a rebound. Well, we've taken the threes. We just can't make the threes. Here's Doherty back the other way. Timeout. Perryton. And we're back in 30 seconds. Perryton leads by three. Back with 5.54 left in one half minute. When the unthinkable happens, good neighbors show up. For 100 years, State Farm has been among the first to arrive with the latest technology and tools to help you recover faster. State Farm has been there before, and they'll be there again and again. Stop by and see your local State Farm insurance agent, Matt Silva, at 801 Main Street in Hereford. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. All right, we trail by three. There's 5.53 left to play. 
Again, we're having get, trouble getting shots to fall, Coach. Yeah, we are, and the majority of what we're shooting is is threes, and, yeah. and that's you can live by them, but you also die by them yeah. too sometimes. And uh, it's uh, Lady White Faces have just got to get some good looks and got to put it in. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. We don't keep that, but we probably shot 23s tonight, I'll bet. Oh, yeah, I would think. Made them in the first three. quarter. Made three, three in the first quarter. Yep. Bella with the ball, 550 left. Perryton with a three point <clears> lead. <throat> Martinez on the left side, outside the Doherty. Azalea on her, right side down to Laura. Both teams with one foul in this quarter. Bella back to Laura. She goes in the lane, little runner is up and good. 35 30, that five point lead looks like a million at the moment. All right, Blair with the ball, 523 left. Sam's gonna come back in, four fouls on her. Blair off on the right side to Azalea. Back outside to Kendall, inside to Baker. Baker back to Arissa, Arissa at the top of the circle. No shot. Dribbles and passes to Blair. Blair, out well outside the three-point line, dribbles back to the top of the circle to Azalea. Azalea directing traffic now. Passes off to Mitzel. Mitchell on the left side to Blair. About 4.54 left. Blair with the ball. Back to Baker. Baker with Apple Hans on her. Right side pass to Azalea. Azalea goes in. Little runner up. No good. Rebound. Blair up and in. 35-32. Big follow shot by Blair there. We needed that. Back the other way now comes Perryton. 35-32 lead. Vela in the forecourt. Inside to Lewis. She's got an advantage size-wise, but she brings it back to Vela. Vela drives in the lane. Baker gets whistled for the foul. That'll be Baker's uh, first. That's the second on the team here in this uh, fourth quarter. They've got one. Again, it's a three-point lead. The White Faces trail the visitors from Perryton. Inbounding the ball now on the far side, or underneath, I'm sorry, is Perryton to Vela. Vela takes it inside, off to Martinez. Martinez to Doherty, Doherty back to Bella. Bella loses her balance and their coach calls the timeout. He thinks she's gonna double dribble. So with 4.14 left and a three point lead, timeout period, and we're back in one half minute. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You should be watching or listening to the game in style with a new sectional, sofa, love seat, and or recliner from Hereford Furniture Exchange. Check out the huge selection of new brand name furniture, mattresses, appliances, and electronics at Hereford Furniture Exchange. 209 East Park Avenue in Hereford. Open seven days a week. Financing options available with no credit needed and an initial payment as low as $10. Merchandise in stock. Buy today. Take home today. All right, back here courtside, 35-32, period with the lead and the ball. 3.44, I think there was left when the timeout was called, something like that. We'll see when they get around here. It's getting too too darn close for comfort, yep. isn't it, when it comes to the time left? It is. And the score. It is indeed. Again, they had a five-point lead. A five-point lead seems like a million, as uh -huh. close as this game has been. Ricky Valdez sitting over there on the far side, cheering on the white faces, along with Joseph and Richard Salinas. Or Richard Alanis, I'm sorry. Officials have some questions for bookkeeper, it looks like. Okay. Guess he got his answer, and yeah. we're about to start. I don't know. I think he's called one call in this game. I'm not sure. But Herford inbounds it on the baseline to Bella. Inside, Baker takes it away. Great play by Baker. Might have been Blair. I'm sorry, I got blocked out. It was Blair who took it away. Outside now to Azalea. We trail by three. Four minutes to play in the game. Four minutes. Here is Samantha now with four fouls. She dribbles right side. Blair bluffs the three. Takes it to the baseline. Passes back inside. The ball stolen by Martinez. Wow. Martinez knew exactly yep. what the Lady White Faces were going to do. Martinez across midcourt now, sets it up on the outside. Right side pass to Doherty. Doherty with Sam all over her, I mean, uh, Azalea all over her. Left side pass now again. Grajeda playing with four fouls. 
Now it's outside to Vela. Vela drives down the lane and can't get the shot up. It's their ball. She and uh, Blair got tangled up. Good job yeah. by Kendall. Yeah, she was looking, Perryton looking for the foul, but yep. uh, Kendall did a nice job of keeping her hand on the ball. Mitzel out. Gutierrez back in. 3.26 left. We trail by three. Perryton inbounds to Vela outside to Martinez. Left side to Laura. And in the corner to Doherty, but she can't get the three. That's what they were trying to do there. Bella's got it over on the right side. She dribbles into traffic, pulls up, shoots a 15-footer, and oh makes it. Goodness. Wow. 37 to 32. She came open on the back side and just reared up and hit it. <clears throat> Azalea back the other way, down by five. Again, we need to score right now, right here. Here's Baker for three. Hit it it is it. good. 37, 35. Couldn't have asked for a bigger shot from Baker. 2.50 left to play. Herford down by two. Perryton quickly in the forecourt to Darty. Darty to the bucket. Baker fouls her. Two on Baker, three on the white faces. 2.46 left to play. Perryton with the ball and a two point lead. White faces and Perryton starting the second round of district play. And Herford trails by two. Perryton ready to put it in play. Now Darty's. The inbounder, she brings it to Martinez. Martinez dribbles outside. Left side pass. Bella's got it. Bella in traffic. Pulls up her dribble. We wind up with a jump ball and Herford's ball. Bella stopped her dribble and uh, we did a good job. Yeah. Jumped on it, didn't we? 2.33 left. 37.35. Herford with the ball down by two when we come back in 30 seconds. Well, there's nothing like the sound of a new baby calf or the smell of fresh rain on a cotton crop. My friends at Capital Farm Credit share this excitement with agricultural and livestock producers. We want to be your lending partner. Whether you require operating funds for next year's crop or need to buy hay for your cattle, we have a loan that's right for you. Let us finance your operation. CapitalFarmCredit.com all right, White faces with the ball, trailing by two. Chance to tie it up or take the lead, Coach. Yeah, and we need to make a move now. We don't need to be <laughs> no. waiting. Oh, this is going to – you kind of get the feeling Perryton got a little too conservative too yeah. quickly, um, which I hope that all works out yeah. exactly that way. But uh, Lady well, White faces just got to find the bottom of the bucket somehow. Yep. Well, Baker's three a moment ago oh, really huge. was huge. I it mean, was. we were down by five, and we'd taken a million threes, and London hit that one. Now the White Faces have the ball and a chance, as I said, to tie or take the lead. Baker, Grajeda, Azalea, Kendall, and Gutierrez. Kendall outside, Applehans on her. Off to Baker. Baker shoots another three. It's no good. But ball comes to the White Faces and comes back out to Azalea. And here goes, oh my goodness, there's yeah. Applehans with a foul. Her <clears throat> second. Good job by Kendall. She got it. She saw she had the advantage. She took it to the bucket, but that's only the second foul against them. We've got three, 217 to play. Again, when team gets to five, it's two shots this day and time. Baker outside is Zaya for three. It's good. The White Faces lead it 38 37. Azalea's third three of the night. 2.06 to play. Parrot in the backcourt now. Ahead to Doherty. Doherty in the forecourt. Passes off to Martinez. Martinez drives down the lane. There's a foul on the white faces. Gutierrez. She went for a steal. That's her. 157 left to play. That's four fouls against the white faces. So three on Kira. Two shots for Perryton the rest of the way. Not here, but the rest of the night. 38-37 Herford, 157 left. There's a timeout. We're back in a half minute. Start here. AC. Go anywhere. Amarillo College is the place to prepare. AC. After serving my country in the military and about with colon cancer, I got a new start right here at Amarillo College. Great programs, great faculty, Start here, go anywhere. Trust your future to a college that cares. Start here, AC. Go anywhere. 
All righty, 38-37 Hereford, 157 left to play. White faces with the one-point advantage, and uh, Gutierrez, Baker, Grajeda, Blair, and Azalea Alanis on the floor. Again, a foul by Hereford is a two-shot foul at this point. Rangerettes with the ball. It'll be Darty out to put it in play. Got to play some smart yep. defense right here. Inbound. Not put them on the free throw line. Apple Hans to Laura. Laura to Martinez. Plenty of time. No reason to rush. Martinez, Darty for three. Shot blocked by Blair, but Darty gets it back. Darty and Blair banging one another. No foul, and the ball is loose. Apple Hans gets it. And Baker's going to get, oh, my goodness gracious, there was a Again, lot of contact. Again, you got to use her off hand yep. to push off. We talked about that. Hey, it's just become the way of the world, hasn't it? It has. Apple Hans with two huge free throws here. 140 left. Her team trails by one. Crowd in a frenzy here as the white faces try to pull this one out. Apple Hans misses the first free throw. Stays a one-point lead. Coach Delosier comes in. He's excited, you can tell. 38-37. Second chance now for Apple Hans here. And she makes it. We're tied at 38. And Baker inbounds it. And here comes Azalea with 137 left. Get in, get in there. Takes it all the way underneath. Back outside. Sam it, for Sam. three. It's no good. Rebound. Loose. Sam gets it. And she is fouled by Applehans. That's three against Perryton. 38-38, 127 to play. 38-38 ball game. Inbounding the ball now is Azalea. She does to Blair, who gives it to Gutierrez. Back to the corner to Azalea. No reason to rush. Again, 121 tied at 38. Azalea goes to the corner. Passes back out front now to Samantha. Samantha dribbles to her left, passes to London. London gives it back to Azalea. 108 left to play, 38-38 score. Azalea around the perimeter, takes it in the lane. A little runner up and off the glass. Herford leads it 40-38. to What a night Azalea has had. White faces by two, 56 seconds left. Full court pressure, but Martinez gets it. Oh, Martinez got away with a walk. Here's Bella, cross court. Laura, 46 seconds left. Bella. Open, shoots a three. It is good. 41-40. Perryton by one. They take a timeout with 39 seconds to play. We're back in a half minute. Your business, farm or ranch and home is unique, and success depends in part on a cost-effective and convenient supply of quality fuel. When you trust your fueling needs to Gooden Fuels, it's one less detail for you to manage. Commercial fuel in bulk, delivered to your above or below ground tank, serving the western Texas panhandle with gasoline, diesel, and propane. Gooden Fuels in Hereford at 806-364-3366. Call them today to discuss your fuel needs. Well, if they just dropped you in and set you in the stands and said you want to watch a good basketball game, oh this would be fun. However, if you're for one team or the other, it's a little nerve-wracking. It's a little nerve-wracking. That's for darn sure. I'm telling you, Vela had a chance to drive, she and is. she didn't want any piece of it. Stepped back and shot yep. it. Yep, yep. She had a wide open layup at the bucket, yep. and she stepped back so she could shoot the three and did nothing but drain it. Wow. All right, White Faces with the ball down by one, 39.55 seconds. Again, just three fouls against Perryton, so a foul by the Rangerettes, and uh, Herford won't go to the line, so they might as well press us here and try to steal the ball. Kendall against the full court pressure, inbounds it to Gutierrez. She bounces it ahead now to Azalea. Azalea needs some help, gets it to Blair. Blair down low to Sam, off yes. the glass. We retake the lead, 42-41, with 28 seconds left. Back the other way comes Perryton. Darty gives it to Martinez. Down to 21 seconds. Martinez drives and scores. 43-42, Perryton. Azalea in the backcourt, 15 seconds left. Plenty of time. Azalea in the forecourt to Sam. Sam drives inside, and we've got a whistle and a foul on Applehorn. She's out. Apple Hans is fouled out, but that is only the fourth foul, and it comes with nine seconds left to play. 
Hereford trails 43-42. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll keep it here as the white faces. What do you do here, Coach? Holy moly, I don't know. <laughs> Golly, I wish we'd been in the shot. Yep. Nine seconds left to play oh, in the ball game. I wish we were putting Sam on the line. Yep. Sam uh, put us ahead, but, boy, they came back just in the blink of an eye. And it was Martinez who scored, I think, the layup yes, on the other yes, end. Yes, yes. I mean, she took it. She, she had did. it at the half court line. She just yep. took it all the way in for a right-handed layup. Herford's going to inbound the ball underneath their bucket on the far side. Nine seconds, plenty of time, but uh, – and Perryton, there is no foul to give now. They've got four, so if they foul, Herford will shoot two free throws. Again, we trail 43-42. Crowd here, I'm winning. We've got a boys game to follow. They're gonna be worn out here before we even begin. All right, here's Mitzel. Mitzel. coming in. She comes in now. The might five to, starters. Might try to get it down low to her. We haven't had much success in there, but Apple Hans is out mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. So that may change the strategy here. <clears throat> Under our bucket. Azalea, Mitzel, Sam, Kira, and Kendall. Nine seconds to go. Herford trails by one. Ready to inbound it is Azalea. She does so too. Two. Blair, and Blair loses the ball out of bounds. Seven seconds, we went right there. Kendall was gonna head to the bucket and just lost the handle, wow. 7.8 seconds to play. Time called by the Whitefaces as they trail by one. We're back in a half minute. For generations, First Bank Southwest has been there to help the working hands that have shaped this great land. Chances are we helped your father, his father, and even his father. We understand for some, a handshake is a stronger bond than a piece of paper. And even though times can be tough, folks around here are tougher. And that's why we're as proud of our panhandle roots as you are. First Bank Southwest, moving your generation in the right direction. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. All right, here's the deal. We trail 43-42. There's 7.8 seconds left to play. Perryton has the ball after the white face turnover. We've either got to steal the ball or foul immediately. One of the two. Yeah, and I, I, I'm i curious. You know, Perryton, I don't believe, has probably been in this situation right. very often. I'm curious to, to see how confident they may be in trying to inbound when we're going to be swarming. Again, <laughs> a foul by the white faces results in two shots for Perryton. They've got Vela to inbound it. White faces come out again. Gutierrez, Grajeda, Baker, Alanis, and Blair. We're not going to put anybody on Vela. We've got the five on on five. If you are on four, Vela going to try to put it in play. Here we go. Vela inbounds it to Martinez, who's got it, and Martinez we foul with 4.7 seconds left. And we'll go to the other end. And that'll be it for Sam. Sam has fouled out. The sophomore spent much of the night on the sideline and she gets her fifth there. I mean, we, we didn't have a choice there. We had to try to do something. Alanis Azalea uh, Rissa comes in. Martinez will shoot two, but even if she makes both, 4.7 seconds, mm -hmm. got a chance with a three. And we've got some shooters who we can do. make a three we from do. way out. Free throws up. She missed it. Atta girl. Oh, wow. Off the front of the iron. Second chance now. I don't know if we're going to take a timeout, if we rebound, or if we're going to just go. She made the second one. It's a two-point game. We inbound it. 4.3 seconds. Ahead now to Baker. Baker shoots. It's no good. And Perryton wins it 44-42. to 42. We really didn't get a good look at that. And Perryton sends Herford to their fifth district defeat and puts us in a really, really bad spot postseason-wise. Coach Taylor and the Lady White Faces congratulating Perryton. Perryton, give them credit. They played well. And again, one one win on the in the district campaign. Come on the road here tonight. Beat the White Faces. Uh, feather in their cap. 
as they go to uh, there'd be what two and six in the district. We now are three and five. And uh, sad night, disappointing loss for the you White Beaches. We just, you know, we had to. Uh, I don't know the third quarter wasn't. Yeah. Went a lot of scoring for the Lady White Faces, but we just never got many looks. And you know, three threes in the first quarter for the Lady White Faces, and then two in the fourth. But yeah. you know, to Perryton's credit, they they kept up. Yeah. I mean, they 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 were not shy. They uh, they were they're a good little basketball team. They I'm are. telling you. Bella's a really fine player, and Martinez. Uh, the ball handlers, Laura, I mean, she never scored after the first quarter, but I thought she showed a lot of moxie out there on the court. And they get the win. Scoring-wise, what do you got, Coach? Uh, let me see here. Five, six. I'm working on it okay, here. Okay, while she's working, I'll just tell you we're going to take a break after we run down these scores, and then we'll come back with the boys' game, second half of the doubleheader, Hereford against Perryton in what is the sixth game. The White Faces at two and three, and the boys in a – must win situation just yeah. about. Yeah, Vela led all scores with 22 points. Wow. Um, nine in the first half, and uh, so what does that make it? <coughs> 13. 13 in the second. Yep, it's three threes wow. in the second half. 14 um, for the Lady White Faces. Kendall, no, excuse me, uh, Azalea had a nice offensive night with 15 points uh, on the evening, and Blair. Uh, ended up with 11 points, seven points for Arissa Alanis after that, six points for Sam, and then a three for Miss London there in the fourth quarter. So that's it. <coughs> that all was right. all the scoring. Mm. Oh, we just got to get more kids involved scoring yeah. too. All right, White Faces lose. P- Perryton and uh, White Face boys in action next. Uh, we'll go back to the studio to Avery for just a few moments, and then we'll be back with uh, more White Face basketball in just a few minutes. She's not in California. She's a cigarette and now the vinyl sea. She's black top of Arizona. I'm hitchhiking it high on bare feet Says she's bad for me, but she ain't She gives me now, she's all I can drink Give me something that burns like her Give me something that hurts like heaven That kind of fire in my heart Leaving smoke in my shirt
stopped in a bar And a band plays a song And you buy her a drink And you both start singing along You ask her to dance And then you hit the floor And she's got moves That a cowboy can't ignore And all of a sudden You're both buzzing like the neon on the wall Ripping shots of whiskey And she ain't slowing down Listening to live coverage of the Hereford White Faces on KPAN AM FM in Hereford, Texas. Our coverage today is brought to you by WT Services, Mendez and Mullins Family Funeral Home, Hereford, Texas Federal Credit Union, the Hereford Furniture Exchange, Matt Silva State Farm Insurance, Capital Farm Credit, Amarillo College, Good in Fuels, First Bank Southwest, Hereford Regional Medical Center. Prairie Insurance, First Financial Bank, your Hereford McDonald's, Hereford Independent School District, Happy State Bank, Stevens Five Star Car and Truck Center, Bob's Heating and Air, First National Bank, and the Deaf Smith County Farm Bureau Insurance Agency. All right, welcome back to Whiteface Gym. Just about set to go in the boys game here. They're going to introduce the starters here in a moment as the White Faces take on Perryton in uh, game six of the first round of district play for the boys. Again, the ladies losing a heartbreaker 48-42 and falling to three and five in district and really putting us in a, a bad spot here. The White Faces uh, don't think you can, don't think you can wind up beneath 500. And uh, so that means we've got to win five of the next six if we're going to, or I'm sorry, four of the next six if we're going to stay alive. And we've got some tough ones along the way here. Coach Kitten's gotten us uh, a roster here, and we'll kind of get that all squared away. Well, Coach, what do you think? I don't know, man. I'm bummed. Yep. I, that's what I think. I, I mean, I, I, I hope these guys come out here and can figure yeah. out a way. And, you know, like you, it, we, we haven't seen these guys before, but – I don't know. As I look back at that girls' game, Perryton played well. They really did. Um, it's, it's, they're again, improved I, from what they were when we saw them yeah. first rattle out of the box. The but uh, I tell you, Vela is a player. Yep. I would agree. I don't. I don't. We didn't have their classifications, but uh, Let's the she's, uh, for the she's a she's she's a player. Our That's what she is. Zero, uh, yeah, we didn't get numbers, so okay. I don't know if you can't read something, let me know. Some of those, I'm not sure what okay. their first names are. And then there was a two down here I didn't have on 
we didn't get on our first list. All right. <coughs> I remember Tarongo from last year. He, he's a good player. And, uh, Perez is the final starter. Yeah, they're good. they've got good size. I mean, they yeah, they do physically. They look they look really really good. And uh, you know, as I look back too with the girls' game and talking about size, man, that's where we yep. we really struggled. We could not get anything underneath. Yep. We didn't have uh, an inside game that. Uh, we just couldn't get shots, and that's nobody's fault. I mean, uh, Senior, 20, right. just Diego the way it works. Diego. Yeah, that offense just, our offense just did not open up anything for us. Well, not, I can't, not, that's not right. Okay. It did open up some things at times, but not often enough. Yep. Yep. And now center, White faces being introduced. Marcos is the fifth and final starter for the White Faces. And that's uh, Claudia back on the microphone. Very zealous. Heck yeah, she doesn't mess around. She no, has she her does. coach's voice on no matter what. <laughs> White faces and uh, Rangers here in just a moment. I'm going to look here, see if I can find their <coughs> district record. They are they're one and four in the district. We're two and three. Pampas two and three. Dumas is three and two, and West Plains is three and two. Now that's, Dumas is three and two? That's hard to believe. All right, here we go. Acosta jumping at mid floor against uh, Perez. Perez has the, whoops, he caught it. He can't do that, and it's Herbert's ball. <laughs> he tipped it, tipped it to himself, and uh, the center can't do that. Sounds like a good plan. It is it? a good plan. It's an excellent plan. Herford with uh, Brylin and Ty, Diego Viegas, Marcos, and uh, Gonzalez. Viegas has got it out to Brylin. The ball's knocked away and it's out of bounds off of Herford. Yep. Touch last by Diego. Or by, I'm sorry, by uh, Ethan Gonzalez. And it's Perryton's ball. White faces in a man-to-man -man in the backcourt for Perryton. It's Cervantes. Cervantes, oh, he travels, and Herbert gets it back. Good job by Diego Villegas and uh, Gonzalez Ethan. Double teamed him. They turned it over. 7.34 left. Opening quarter. Looking for our first points. Ty's got it in the forecourt. Tarango's got him. They're in a zone, 2-3 zone. Let's see if the white faces can... Hit something from the outside. The Acosta on the high post, down low, throws it away. So we've turned turned it over twice in two possessions. Well, let's get those out of our system. Yep. Full court pressure, man to man again. Tarango inbounds it to Cervantes. Cervantes starts up the floor with uh, Ethan on him. Passes back. Now gets the return pass across midcourt. Works it in the corner, back outside. Tarango loses the handle, but gets it back. We played a minute, no score here at Whiteface Gym and the boys game. Durango out on the outside now. Ty's got him. he got a bit of a size advantage, not a great huge advantage. In the corner on the left side, back outside, down on the baseline. Good job, Acosta intercepts. Whiteface is trying to fast break it. It's knocked away. We get it back, nope, we lost it. Three possessions and three turnovers. Here's uh, Cervantes, Tarango for three. It is no good, and the rebound belongs to no one, but it's out of bounds off Herford. Costa was in position, but Perez did a good job of kind of getting it away from him, and it went out of bounds off Marcos. No score, 6.28 left first quarter. Tarango inbounds it. Back outside, now the left side. They shoot the three. It is no good, and the rebound comes out to Tarango. They'll go again and tie. Gets a foul, One, six, uh, 620 left first quarter. First foul of ball game goes to Ty Duque. Again, got him, yep. You hear Coach Brown saying, be smart, be smart, and that's what you gotta do. I mean, Ty's a little, here's an inbounds play. Ty goes, can't get to it, but uh, Cervantes controls it, brings it back. Cervantes on the outside now to Estrada. 
Strada to Tarango. Give it off to Blackshear. Blackshear trap, but gets it back to Cervantes. Cervantes with Ethan on him. Six minutes, we played two minutes, nobody scored here. Here's a three-pointer, nowhere near the mark. Rebound off to Whiteface is uh, Brylon Lopez, and back the other way we go. In the corner, wide open, Viegas for three. It's no good. Rebound off to Tarango. That was our first shot. It came with 2.15 gone in the first quarter. Still no score. Outside, Tarango, Whiteface has got him trapped. Throws it long, cross court to Blackshear. He fires it down low. We take it away. Now it's loose and out of bounds off Herford. Well, we had the steal again and just couldn't control it. Diego Ornalis in. And Diego Vegas out. 5.31 left and a score this first quarter. This can't continue. Tarango shoots a three. It won't. No, nope, he misses. But they get the rebound yet again. Tarango shoots again. He misses again. The rebound is... A back to Blackshear of Perryton. Kicked out of bounds by Perryton. Wow. Well, we've talked about size and the girls, and we've oh. got the same situation yeah, here. Did. I mean, uh, getting just killed on the boards. They got four opportunities there, did not score. We've almost played three minutes of the first quarter, and we're scoreless. Outside, ooh. A little aggressive that time, and uh, the foul's on Estrada. One aside now, foul-wise, 5.07 left, no score, first quarter. Herford's ball in the forecourt. It'll be Ethan Gonzalez to inbound it over on the far side. Ethan put it in play to Ty. Ty will dribble across the midcourt line, stop his dribble. Now he needs some help, and he gets it from Ethan. Almost threw it away, but gets it back to Diego. Ornelas back to Ty, right side to Bryland. They come out on him, left side now. Cross court tie. He's open for a long three, and it is no good. And the rebound comes to Perryton, and the ball is stolen, saved right here in front of us by Ty. What a play by Duque. Back to Bryland, about a six footer. It's Get in. no good. Rebound, though, to the white faces. Inside, a little reverse shot, no good. Ethan goes back and gets it, comes back outside. Ty takes it down the baseline, in the lane, off the glass. It won't go. And 4.25 left in the quarter, still no score. We've got a contact at midcourt. Bryland gets the foul. Two on the white faces, 4.22 left in the quarter. Again, I mean, shots doing everything, Coach, but going in. Yeah, they are. And, I mean, we, we take it to the block. Yep. <clears throat> we can't make it drop. Cervantes trapped in the backcourt, throws it long, intercepted again by the white faces this time. Acosta ahead now to Diego out of bounds off of Herford. Hey, hey, Ty thought up. they touched it last, but the official Good said play. no. 4.07 left, zip, zip. On, Ethan, inbounds, inbounds. Tarango ahead now to Cervantes. Baseline to Blackshear. He misses the three, rebound now to Ornalis. Diego back the other way, three on three. Off in the corner. Uh, Bryland shoots a three. It's go. good. 3.49 left in the quarter. First points of the night. The White Faces lead it three to nothing. Cervantes in the backcourt, up near midcourt. Dribbles through the double team, and he travels. White Faces getting what they want out of that pressure. Get the ball back with 3.39 left in the quarter. Three nothing, Herford lead. Again, shooting as cold as the weather outside. <laughs> it is. But luckily, Perryton has been right. cold from that three-point circle, too. You know, we haven't hit down at the block. They haven't hit the three-pointer. And it hadn't been for lack of trying. Yeah. They have launched them. Outside now, Ty stops his dribble. Passes down in the corner to Brylan. Brylan dribbles around the perimeter now. Takes it in the lane. Dumps it down low and is out of bounds off Perryton. I thought it was out of bounds off us, but we'll take it. 3.22 left in the quarter, 3-0 Herford. Whiteface Jim, inbounds in the corner, tie for three. It's no good, rebound though to Bryland. Lopez will bring it back out and set it up inside to tie, down low to Acosta against the defense. He misses, rebound back the other way, and there's a foul on Bryland, I think. Yep, his second. Yep. So here comes Juan Bermudez in and Brandon Gonzalez. Acosta out, Brylin out. Two fouls on him, three on the white faces. 3.09 left, first quarter. 
Perryton with the ball on the far side. Cervantes didn't want to put it in play. He wanted someone else to, but he's the only one over there, so he's got to do that. Inbounds, it comes to, it comes to. He gets the return pass, takes it down the lane, dumps it in the corner. Blackshear passes on the three. Back out front now, they work it around the perimeter. There's another three that's no good. And there's a foul inside on Perez. A great job by Diego Ornales. Yep. Probably about six inches shorter. He got in there, held his position, and drew the foul. 2.57 left, 3 nothing. It's not a baseball game. It's not a football <laughs> game. It's a basketball game. 2.57 left, first quarter. Tie up the floor. Cross midcourt now. Passes top of the circle to Ethan. Down the left corner. Brandon inside. Ethan shot, no good. Gets his own rebound. Goes back up. It's no good. Rebound. Wow. Two point blanks just would not go in. Double dribble. Herbert gets it back. Cervantes. He's in disbelief. Everybody's in disbelief. What? I dribble with both hands, and that's double dribble. <laughs> 235. Why didn't somebody tell me? 3-0 Herford. 235 left first quarter. Duque across midcourt. Right side pass to Diego Ornales. In the corner to Brandon. Outside the zone. Now Brandon loses the ball, but gets it back. Back outside. Hey, stay, stay. Left side now. My faces work it to Ethan. Back top of the circle to Diego. Right side to Brandon. Back to Ty. Ty over on the left side to Diego Ornelas. He bluffs the shot. Back to Ty on the right side. Ty, long cross court, Brandon for three, and it's blocked. Great defensive play by Perryton. In the backcourt now, they get it ahead to Cervantes. Brandon has him. 151 left and a 3 0 Herford lead first quarter. All the way, puts it up and in, he's fouled. Well, Cervantes just kind of threw it up, and it went in, and the White Faces whistle for a foul. The foul was on... Uh, Ethan? I think it's on Ethan, yep. Yep. So, 146 left in the quarter, and Cervantes can tie the score at three with an old-fashioned three-point play, and he does. 3-3, minute 46 left in the quarter. Duque and the White Faces back the other way. The crowd just kind of... Lollygag to sleep here in this first period. Arnalis throws it away. Two on one. Here comes Cervantes. Dumps it off to Blackshear. Left-handed shot. He scores. He's fouled. And it's 5-3 Perryton and a chance to make it 6-3 as Blackshear on the fast break bucket drew the foul as well. That's five against the White Faces. The foul was on... Uh, Gonzalez, Ethan, yeah, it was on Ethan. his second. Uh-huh. He's got two. He and Brylin both have two in this quarter. The White Faces have five as a team. Free throw goes up, and they've made two three-point plays with a bucket and a foul, and lead six to three. One thirty left, first period. Herford back the other direction, again on the road Friday night at Borger. Timeout call. White Faces down six to three. We're back in thirty seconds. Needing extra income? Looking for a full-time job with advancement opportunities? McDonald's in Hereford is hiring full-time and part-time people who are energetic and customer-focused. At McDonald's, you will be able to work flexible hours, whether it's three hours or eight hours per day. Benefits include a free meal when you're working and a 30% discount when you're off-duty. Earn a vacation benefit and $10 an hour and above with experience. To apply, just text TX162 to 38000. All right, 122 left first quarter. We trail six to three. I'm looking at the white face fans across the way, many are sitting on folded as though. Yeah, it's it's just it's it has not been an offensive uh, No. If you, if you love offense, this <laughs> hadn't been the quarter for you. I, it'll light up. Though. Well, I hope it surely will. I mean we had trouble, we just scored what, 21, 25, I think, on Friday. Here's Herford with the ball in the forecourt inside the Bermudas, outside to Viegas. Diego in the corner, back to Ty. They get to him. Ty in traffic. Cross court with a pass now to Diego Ornelas. 
inside a minute. Ball stolen by Perry to knock the head to Blackshear, and he misses the layup. Wow, what a break. Back the other way comes Brandon. Pulls up outside tie for three. No good. Rebound out of bounds off of Perryton. 6-3 Perryton. 42 seconds left first quarter in Blackshear. Sarah's out to check on him. He is hobbling to the bench here on the near side. Uh, he missed the layup. I don't know if he came down awkwardly or what, but he does limp over. White faces with the ball. 42 seconds left. Two uh, inbounds, I'm sorry, inbounds. The white faces will bring it into play, and it, and it comes. Ties open for a three, but he doesn't take it. He's missed a couple, and he passed on that one. Brandon off to Viegas. Down in the corner, we work it, but again, we don't shoot. Back outside, cross court. Bermuda's for three. The big guy there hits you it. Go. Six all. One has got a nice shot. The post pulling out there. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Down the floor. They're going to call a foul on Ty. No. Yep, on Ty. That's his second. Wow. You could hear Coach Brown saying, don't foul, don't foul. And, you know, with 18 seconds left in the quarter, Ty now gets his second personal foul. They bring him out, bring Ornalis in. White faces have tied it at six, but it's not been a good quarter. We've got two players, three players with two fouls each. Free throw is up and good, makes it seven to six. This is Cervantes shooting. Perryton uh, subs in. Again, 18 seconds in the first quarter. It's been low scoring, but Perryton has a two point lead at the moment. Alan Salazar, sophomore up on the varsity. On the floor for the White Faces, Brandon on the point. Brandon to Diego Ornelas, and he throws it behind Bermudez and out of bounds. Seven seconds left in the quarter. We're down by two. Perryton has a chance to get another shot off here and widen the gap. And again, we've got the two fouls. We cannot do anything foolish here. Here they come all the way, lays it up and in at the buzzer, 10-4, I'm telling, 10-6. Herford down by four, Cervantes with a bucket. We're back. Flu shots and updated COVID-19 vaccines are available at the Hereford Health Clinic. With many respiratory viruses circulating at the same time, it's more important than ever to make sure you and your family have the best protection starting this fall. Call 806-364-7512 to schedule a vaccine appointment today. When life's unexpected moments happen, you can rest easy knowing Prairie Insurance is on your side. Prairie Insurance will listen to you and help tailor a policy to meet your needs. They offer multiple insurance products, including home, auto, business and farm insurance, with the knowledge to make sure you're covered. Give them a call at 363-6489 or stop by their office at 213 West Park Avenue. When you're ready to have peace of mind regarding the things that matter most, call Prairie Insurance at 363-6489 or stop by 213 West Park Avenue and they'll make sure you're covered. First Financial Bank knows how important a person's vehicle can be. My SUV is perfect for taking clients to properties and me to the golf course. My pickup hauls work supplies all week and the family on weekends. My hybrid helps the environment and my fuel bill. If you're ready for a new vehicle, talk to First Financial. We offer loans at competitive rates with fast local approval. My 4x4 works hard, but plays even harder. First Financial Bank. You first. Member FDIC. Hereford ISD, we are committed to children and dedicated to excellence. Hereford ISD encompasses over 900 square miles. 
We educate approximately 4,000 students each year and employ approximately 650 employees. Hereford ISD buses over 700 students to and from school each day. We provide 14 bus routes and drive over 1,100 miles per day. We choose to make a difference in the lives of all of our children. Go Herd! It missed. The rebounds out of bounds off period. Well, they're not going to quit shooting threes, no, I'll tell you I that. they're not. That's pretty clear. Shoot if you're hot. If you're not, shoot if you get hot. 6.58 left in the half. We trail by seven. We cannot find any rhythm. Ornalis, San Miguel, Brandon for three. It's no good. Rebound off to Herbert. Good hustle by Brandon. Shot up by Diego. It's no good. Rebound, Perryton. Wow. Missed two just point blank shots. Great hustle, but no dividend. In the corner, Perryton. Back outside, Cervantes. Right side. Back to Cervantes. Down low, ball knocked away. Great play by Ornalis, Diego. Back the other way comes Brandon. Brandon pulls up, pump fakes. Triple team gets it back outside to Diego Diegas. 6-13 left in the half. Whiteface is trailing. 13-7. Open for a three. It's nowhere near the mark. Rebound, period. So the Whitefaces get a good shot. Can't find the range. Cervantes. On the outside, passes to Tarango. Tarango inside, back, they shoot a long three. It is good. That's Estrada, and it is 16 to six. 548 left in the half. Brandon back the other way. Whitefaces just cannot find a rhythm. In the forecourt, throw it cross court, throw it away. It is Herford's ball. Whitefaces bring Diego out. Back into the ball game comes uh, Salazar. Herford with the ball, but down by 10. 5.35 left first half. Inbounds. Villegas brings it back outside. In the corner now. Pass to Salazar. Way out front to Brandon. Left side. Shoots the three. It's partially blocked. And they get the ball. And back the other way we go. Quickly down the floor. The big guy shoots three. It's nowhere near the mark. Rebound, Brandon Gonzalez. 5-14 left in the half. Off to Brandon. He's open for a three, and he misses. Rebound, Perryton. Almost turned it over, but uh, saved in the backcourt by Estrada. Five minutes left, first half. 16-6. to six. The White Faces trail. Here's the pass inside. They turn it over. Herford with a steal. Back the other way comes Salazar. Salazar off to Villegas. In the corner, back inside, a foul, and two shots for... Diego Villegas. Wow. 445 left in the first half. The White Faces trail 16 to 6. Diego Villegas shooting. We were tied at six, so they've scored 10 unanswered points, if you will. And we missed the first free throw. Costa's out on the floor for the White Faces along with Salazar. Diego Villegas who's shooting. Again, the drought continues. My face is just really straight. Missed them both. Wow. Rebound off to Perryton. We had one of these quarters over at Canyon where we just mm -hmm. did not score. Yep. On the forecourt, they set it up outside the Hereford 1-3-1 one, one zone. 432 left in the half. Duque going to come back in again. Two fouls on him. Three from the corner. It's no good. Rebound off to Perryton. They'll go again. Another long three. It is good. Wow. Nothing but the bottom of the net. And it's 19 to 6. 4.13 left in the half. Whiteface is down by 13 points. Inside, back outside on the baseline. Whiteface is trapped. Get it back to Salazar, to Brandon. Back to Salazar. Knocked away and stolen by the Rangers. Shot missed. Follow shot missed. Ball tipped out. They'll go again. Tarango from the top of the circle. It's no good. Rebound. Body's just flying underneath the bucket. Wow. 343 left in the half. Diego Villegas can't shoot. Fires it into Acosta. Fall away jumper off the glass and in. Great shot by Marcos. Finally, after four and a half minutes, the White Faces score here in this quarter. Trail by 11. Tarango outside. 
goes to Cervantes. Back to Tarango. Tarango bluffs the three. Back to Cervantes, or back to Tarango. Tarango looking inside. Cross court pass, throws it away. Herford's ball. 3-11 left in the half. A 19-8 lead for the visitors. Ty Duque with two fouls comes in, and Diego Villegas comes out. So it's Salazar, Brandon Gonzalez, Ty, <coughs> Marcos, and uh, D- Dio. Dio San Miguel on the left here. Off it goes now to the sophomore Salazar. Back to Brandon. Back to Brandon. Top of the circle. He shoots the three. He makes the three. 19 11. That's what we need. Yep. 250 left in the half. Herford down by eight. Tarango now across midcourt, passes off on the left side to Cervantes. Cervantes back to Tarango. He shoots a three, and he misses, and the rebound belongs to Perryton, and there's a loose ball, and the Whitefaces come up with the ball. Back the other way. Whitefaces double dribble. Perryton coach, I thought he was at the officials, but it's his player he was furious with, and so he subs him out. 2.31 2.31 left in the half. Herford down by eight. 19 and 11. Had a little spurt there. Had a chance to narrow it again, but couldn't get her done. And Cervantes sets it up on the outside against the white face zone. Left side pass to Tarango. Tarango back outside to Cervantes. Cervantes to Tarango in the corner. Whistle and a three, three second. second call. Yep. Second one of those we've seen this year. <laughs> one for us, one against us. 2.13 left to play. You gotta build a building in there to get a three second call. Time called here by the official. Oh, timeout by Perryton. 2.13 left in the half, Herford trails by eight. We're back in 30 seconds. Did you know Stevens Five Star will deliver your next Chevy or GMC? Wyatt from Amarillo says Romeo drove his new GMC pickup to him in Amarillo so they didn't have to make an extra trip. That's five star service all around. For your next Chevy or GMC, stop by Stevens Five Star in Hereford. Call them or visit them online at StevensFiveStar.com. You get five star treatment every day. Stevens Five Star Car and Truck. All right, we've got 2.13 left in the half. We trail by eight. And it's been a tough half. Oh, it's been a tough half. Buckets are hard to come yeah. by. It just, it's just been that kind of night for anybody who's wearing maroon and white. Yep, girls as well we got yep. beat by two. And boys, I mean, you know, we scored uh, 26. I just looked a minute ago, 26 points against Canyon the other night. So this is six quarters now, pretty Pretty tough offensive basketball. 11 here in the first half. Acosta bluffs the three, passes back, throws it away. Ty is able to save it. Ty gets it back to Acosta to Brandon in the corner now. Back inside Acosta. Acosta's fouled, and that's only the uh, second against them, none against the Whitefaces. Whiteface ball in the forecourt. 19-11 score. Perryton subbing. Not been many, many fouls in this game. All right, Whiteface is ready to inbound it. They do so to tie. He shoots and misses a three. Marcos gets it, puts it back in, 19-13. It was a pass all along. Absolutely, good assist. Yep, six-point lead now for Perryton. It was 13 a moment ago. Rangers. With the ball in the forecourt on the outside, a minute 30 left in the half. Down on the baseline, they're just looking for threes. I mean, that's kind of the offense. Right side pass now. Back to the top of the circle, 120. Herford playing good defense. Left side now. Inside, threw it away, and it came right to Cervantes. Shot is blocked by the Whitefaces Ornelas. Brandon, off the glass, it won't go. Tip back to Villegas. It won't go. Rebound, Perryton. And in the backcourt, Perryton's uh, Cervantes, who's been their offense, brings it down, leading by six inside a minute to play first half. In the corner, three. It's no good. Rebound off to Cervantes. Cervantes in the lane, back outside, Tarango for three. It's good. 22 to 13. 
A nine point lead again, 40 seconds left in the first half. Tie in the forecourt. Off to Brandon. Back to Diego. Passes off on the left corner now to Ty. 27 seconds left in the half. Ty with two fouls. Just has not found his shot tonight. White faces back out now to Brandon. 18 seconds left. Ty tries a long, long three, which is no good. And we get the rebound and put it up and in. Great play inside by uh, Dio San Miguel. Seven point Periton lead, five seconds left. Ooh. Perryton got a shoot in a hurry, and they do, and it's in at the buzzer. Oh, and a foul. Wow, and a foul to boot. Holy cow. Wow. Perryton just it came off the glass. Now they're going to see if there's a foul or not. It's 25-15 at least. It is going to be a free throw as well. That's good. Foul on the white faces. Uh, I don't know who the foul was on. We don't, have a we don't have a 23. So they're going to put like, what, some time back on the clock. I don't know what. And we don't have a white 23. Uh -huh. Foul was on Acosta. I don't think Acosta was out here. But it's a 10-point lead at least. They put two and a half seconds back on the clock. Perryton will shoot what could be a four-point play here. Now they're putting now .15 seconds on the clock. So the game, I mean, this is going to be the final, final moment of the half. Uh, he'll shoot, and then if he makes it, we can't inbound it and shoot it in that length of time. He didn't. Ty gets it and throws it the length of the floor, but doesn't make it. And we're down 25 15 at the half, Brenda. And I mean, it just seems like we're kind of in that old if anything can go wrong, it does. Yeah. And it has. It has indeed. Golly, one, two, three, four, five threes for, uh, wow. for Perryton in, in quarter number two. That's all they're scoring. I mean, that wow. was it. <laughs> well, it's 25-15, Perryton. We'll take a two-minute timeout. Be back here courtside in two minutes. The community of Hereford continues to be committed to the Hereford White Faces, just as Happy State Bank is committed to our customers. Perseverance, commitment, and resilience are key ingredients for success both on and off the field of play. Whether you are cheering on the Hereford White Faces, starting a business, or planning for the future, Happy State Bank is here for all your life's moments. Let us be your partner at Happy State Bank. Visit us in person or at happybank.com. Happy State Bank, a division of Centennial Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Whatever your type of home, experience a new level of home comfort with a new Bryant Evolution system. When installed with the Evolution Connects control, this advanced system can communicate with both your indoor and outdoor units for increased comfort and efficiency. Ask your Bryant dealer about an Evolution heating and cooling system today. Call Bob's Heating and Air at 364-1195, your local factory authorized Bryant dealer. As the new year unfolds, new projects are born. If you are interested or have any questions regarding a consumer or commercial loan, First National Bank of Hereford can assist you. You will be working with Hereford's only locally owned bank. Applying is easy with our online consumer application or visit any of our locations to apply for your personal or business needs. First National Bank of Hereford, we have roots where others have branches. Member FDIC and Equal House. Lender. Texas Farm Bureau Insurance has protected fellow Texans with auto, home, health, and life insurance since 1952. With more than 260,000 square miles of land and 27 million people, that's a lot to cover. Whether you're wrangling cattle or wrangling kids, we're proud to protect Texans in all Texan ways of life. Call Def Smith County Farm Bureau at 806-364-1070 to speak with an agent today. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. All right. Tom Simons and Coach Brenda Kitten with you at halftime. We trail 25-15. i tell you what, you don't want me to be for your team. Uh, my, my teams are 
not faring well of late, Coach. Yeah, might have been dropping like hotcakes too. <laughs> but uh, nice. Uh, let's talk about some as far as NFL. How about yeah. the Houston Texans? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how about them? And how about Stroud? Oh my uh, goodness, Stroud in love. You know, today the, the, I heard this conversation late this afternoon. <clears throat> the four quarterbacks in the East, in the East remaining playoffs, are Jared Goff, Baker Mayfield, <laughs> uh, Brock Purdy, and uh, Jordan Love. I that mean, that's, that is isn't crazy. That amazing. And in the in the A, uh, AFC. The quarterbacks are Stroud and Lamar Jackson go, and Patrick Mahomes yeah. and Bell. Allen. I mean, not Josh Allen, yeah. And Mia I mean, and what do that's amazing. It's just shoot. amazing. Wow. What are we pretty, doing? Mr. Irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Mr. Uh, Irrelevant's pretty relevant. He's yeah. pretty relevant. What a, what a story that deal is. But Stroud, yeah. Stroud is, he's just phenomenal. And cool as he can be, yeah. Yeah. too. And, and I think just as good a guy as yeah. he is a player, too, which is yeah. Yeah. refreshing. All right, we've got some three-point shooters or shooters here. They got a, they got a shooter layup, a free throw, and a three-pointer. If they can make those in 30 seconds' time, they win, uh, I think, a new house. I don't know what it is. Oh, there we go. We got one end. We're down to the three-pointer. Young lady shooting. Oh, oh my gosh. She nearly made it. Oh, golly. Twice in and out for the three. That one's good. All right. We've got a winner. Got a winner. All right. I don't know. We're mindful of the Stanton. La Plata free throw shooting contest that used to take place at <laughs> halftime. I don't remember that. Julie Clements was the winner of the. Oh, I see. Yep, as a freshman. Uh, Over at the old gym. No, it was school? here. No, it was here. It was. It was. We were already playing here. And, okay. Uh, it was when they, you know, still had to take the ball out of the basket each time. It didn't go through. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> but Julie won it. That's her athletic claim to fame, and she proudly will tell you about it. <laughs> She won't tell you about the oh, shot go she shot as time was running out that didn't get to the free throw line, but that's okay. She's kind of getting excited about Mardi Gras stuff, isn't yeah, she? Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a year. It just picks up more intense. She and Kendall both uh, are Mardi Gras deluxe, and it starts up. Uh, I think they had a parade last this past week. The first, How many parades do they have? 23 or 4 oh, or 5. Goodness. I don't know. I know she's had a couple of times when... Uh, she uh, yeah. she made I know one year she made 21 out of 23 or 23 out of she made a lot of parades and then she's in one parade as the prima donna so uh, she's <laughs> one of the prima donnas well we're still shooting free throws and threes here in the first half again whiteface is trailing 25-15 in a rather lethargic whiteface gym here tonight lost the girls game in double, I mean, not in overtime, in regulation time. Oh, almost uh, off the glass. Good yep. try. Thank you for trying again, girl. Whiteface is down 25-15. What do you got, Coach, in the way of scoring? Not much, I know. Well, all scores are led by Cervantes for uh, for Perryton guys. He uh, He's had three free throws, two two-point buckets, and one three. So he's got ten points on the night. And uh, for the Whitefaces, <clears throat> Marcus Acosta, he's got two buckets there in that second quarter. Um, and then we've got threes and twos. Brandon Gonzalez had a three in the second quarter, uh, as did Juan Bermudez, as did Brylon Lopez in quarter number one, and a two-point bucket by Dio San Miguel. So uh, six mm. six in the first quarter for the White Faces, nine in the second quarter. And uh, that, wow. that limited offense yeah. is not going to. No. Win many ball no, games. No, uh, you know, we played so well here a week ago against Randall. Got beat Got beat by Randall 87-82, uh, or 77-72, I think was the final in that one. Then we went over to Canyon and just could not score. I mean, Canyon had something to do with it. We had yeah. something to do with it, too. Got beat, uh, I think that was 41-26, something like that. And then here tonight, we're behind Perryton, uh, 25-15, Perryton. 
Um, one win in the district in the first five games. So I don't know. We've got to we've got to find something, and I don't know. You know, that's real easy to say yep, and real hard to do. <clears throat> Indeed, it is. And if you recall, the Dallas Cowboys needed to find something, and mm. something was not found. All right. Turned out there wasn't anything. Five threes in the second quarter by wow. by Perryton. That was their only scoring were three point. Wow. Buckets. So well, it's, it's obvious. I mean, you know, we're playing a zone. Uh, they've got about four guys that they feel like can shoot it, and uh, obviously they've made some of those. They missed a bunch, but they they just keep shooting. And uh, again, can't fault that. I mean, right. if you get some of them to go, and with us struggling like we're struggling. Uh, have we made one three? Is that what we've done? Uh, no, we've made more Two. than that. We had Brandon had a three, uh, Gonzalez and uh, Juan Bermudez had a three okay. in the first, and Rylan had a three in the first. Okay. He's he's his playing time picked up two fouls really yeah. quickly, and so that's limited him. Uh, otherwise, he'd be out there. And Ty's yeah. some of his time has been limited yeah. uh, with two fouls in this first half. Both those guys will be out there when we start the second half here in just a moment, and. Uh, Again, we just got to get something. I mean, get the crowd in it, get us in it. Uh, and right now, we, we've not got – we've just not got any kind of mojo. It's just a – it's a flat night, yeah. isn't it? It's it it is. just very – it seems is. very Did quiet, say, very flat emotionally. Did you say fat or flat? You said <laughs> flat. <laughs> I, I felt more like it was a fl- fat night for me, but uh, – well, you shouldn't just, have eaten. You thought those raisins I would know, the raisins, take away the yeah. frito pie that you just ate. But. Yeah, Coach pointed out it says go on the back of the raisins, but apparently that does not apply to the game. We come out. I need of the, to write hurt on there. Let's write hurt. hurt. Okay, okay, do that. I'll let you do that. I, I bet that'll change everything. <laughs> Both teams back out. Second half, my faces have got Acosta, and Ethan Gonzalez, Brylan, uh, Ty. Who are we missing? Diego Viegas. It'll be Herford's ball. Down by 10. 25-15. Ethan to put it in play. Ty will be the man who gets it. And we'll go from there. Waiting on, I don't know what. Waiting on the whistle. Hold up, that's eight seconds. That's eight seconds. Yep, they put eight seconds on the scoreboard instead of eight minutes. So we really need longer than that to catch up. Yeah, we do. If we had a lead now. Here we go. Now we got eight minutes. And into play we go. Ty takes the inbounds pass. Got it out on the point. Right side pass to Brylin. Brylin. Again, Perryton in a zone defense. They come out on us. Out of that zone, there's not much space. Here's Viegas off to Ty. Ty back left side now to Ethan. Ethan looking inside, but comes back to Acosta outside the three-point line. And again, we're just not getting anybody open. Back to a pass. Can't shoot. Give it back to Ty down low off the glass. It won't go. My gosh. In there, got the little layup, and it just wouldn't go. 25-15, back the other way comes Perryton. Just underway in the third quarter. The White Faces trail by 10. Lost the last three ball games, trying to find something here tonight, but so far, nothing doing. Tarango passes on the shot, now steps back and takes the shot and misses the shot, and they get the rebound, and back to Tarango, and he takes it again, and he misses the shot, and Acosta gets the rebound. He needs some help, and they take it away again to the bucket, throw it away. Acosta comes up with it, and back the other way we go. If we're down by 10, we played a minute 20 of this third quarter. On the baseline into Acosta, down the lane, no good. Rebound, Perryton. Oh, my goodness. Perryton will slow it down and start up the floor. Estrada in the backcourt with Rylan on him. They've got him trapped, but he gets it ahead now to Cervantes. No look pass to Rango. Doesn't take his third three of this quarter. Gives it back for a step away three that's no good, but the rebound again to Perryton. Wow, we're just getting hammered on the boards. 6.09 left third quarter. On the outside now. Tarango's got it around the perimeter. 
They work a little weave outside. Brylin tried to get the steal, didn't. Down low, the pass. Shot no good, rebound Viegas. Back the other way we go. Herford still down by 10. We played two minutes of this uh, quarter. 25-15, Perryton. Tie outside now to Brylin. Brylin, back it goes now to Ethan. Ethan down inside to Acosta. Back outside, Brylin. Brylin's fouled. First foul of the second half comes with five and a half minutes. We played two and a half minutes of this quarter, and like the first quarter, nobody scored. I mean, both teams just struggling to get off the off the snide here. Herford, though, down by 15. Needs something to happen in a hurry. Inbounds, Brylin for three. Nope. Rebound, Perryton. Back the other way we go. Ahead to Cervantes. He comes down the floor in traffic. Passes on the right side. Gets it back inside. Off the glass, he misses. Ball of shots up and good. And it's 27 to 15. That was Perez on the follow. 5.08 left third period. Brylin outside. Inside to Viegas. Back door to Acosta. He's fouled as he shoots. He'll shoot two free throws. The foul is on. Yep. Foul is on uh, Cervantes. Cervantes. His first of the night. First of the second half. In the act of shooting to Two free throws for Marcos. We trail by a dozen. Five minutes left, third quarter. Up it goes, no good. Wow. 27-15. My face is open the season with two road wins at Borger and at Dumas. Makes one of the two, 27-16. Herford down by 11. Cervantes against full court pressure. Comes up to midcourt. Gets it ahead now in the forecourt to Estrada. Estrada outside, gives it off. They work it back to Tarango. Tarango can't shoot, passes back to Cervantes. 4.40 left, third quarter. Down on the baseline, nothing there. Now inside to the big man. Turnaround jumper is up, it's no good. Rebound, Brylin. 4.30 left, third period. Herford with the ball, down by 11. In the corner, through the hands, and out of bounds. Never get a shot away as we just uh, threw it away. Mm. 4.25 remaining third period. Herford trailing 27 to 16. Cervantes quickly across the co- midcourt all the way down. Back outside to Tarango. Tarango shoots another three that's nowhere near the mark. Rebound Acosta. Tarango's 0 for 4 in the first four minutes of this quarter. 11-point lead, outside now Brylin, drives down the lane, dumps it off inside. Got a whistle and a charge. Um, um. Charge on Brylin after he dished it off. And that's his third foul, and he'll come out with 4.02 left third quarter. Brandon comes back in. Brandon Gonzalez, Diego Villegas, Ethan Gonzalez, Marcos Acosta, and Ty Duque for the White Faces. An 11-point deficit, and there's a foul on Ethan. That's his third. Yes. 3.56 left, third quarter. Periton's ball right in front of us. Diego Ornalis comes in. Ethan comes out, so it's Diego Ornalis, Diego Viriel, Brandon Gonzalez. Ty Duque and Marcos Acosta. Marcos in uh, the big post for uh, Perryton, both talking and laughing. I don't know what about, but uh, there's humor in all of this. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Herford. Quickly up the floor now to Ty. Ty with the two on three, spins in the lane, puts the shot up, and he's fouled, and he'll shoot two. 3.35 3.35 left third quarter, 27-16. Herford down by 11. <laughs> to the line he goes. Again, another trip to the floor for Ty. He gets knocked there a lot. 3.35 left third period. We trailed at 10. And again, uh, Perez is really, he's, he's yucking it up now with Diego Arnales. Ty makes the first one. It's a 10-point game. 
335 left, third quarter. Just a little spurt, a little yeah. life. You know, just just creep, something. Yep. Creep back in and yep. close that gap. He can make it a nine-point game here, Ken Duque. And he does. 27-18. Inbounds in the backcourt. Cervantes has got it. Cervantes by Brandon all the way down. Pulls up. Outside, they shoot the three, miss the three, rebound off to Brandon. Back the other way come the white faces, and there's a foul on Cervantes, his second, third. Third, I think. All come, this this yep, half. Yep. He comes out of the 320 left, third quarter. Herford down by nine, but a chance now here. Cervantes goes to the bench. Chance here for a little run. Ornalis outside. Ornalis left side to Ty. Ty around the perimeter. Goes inside. He's trapped there. Passes back out to Brandon. Down in the corner now. Down the baseline. Shot off the glass. No good. Rebound off to Perryton. Ornalis, about a six-footer that just was too stout. Nine-point lead. Back the other way comes Perryton. They get it down to the baseline. Back outside to Tarango. Now set it up with 2.43 left third period and Herford trailing by nine. Tarango doesn't take the three this time. Instead, passes back outside. A long, long, oh long three that is no good and it winds up being a pass to Perez. Down inside, the ball's out of bounds off Herford. 2.25 left third quarter. Herford down 27 18. Juan Bermuda's in. Marcos Acosta out. Nine point lead for Perryton. They led by 10 at the half. Time call. Yep. Timeout, Perryton. We're back in 30 seconds. Mendez and Mullins Family Funeral Home is Hartford's leading funeral home serving Deaf Smith County. The people of Deaf Smith County have chosen us the best funeral home for the last six straight years. We contribute this to the service that we provide to our families along with the care and compassion that is given to each family we serve. We are proud of this honor and will continue to meet the expectations of every family we are privileged to help. Herford's only family-owned and operated funeral home, our family serving your family. All righty, back here at Whiteface Gym, 27-18. Herford down by nine. Again, uh, 15 points the first half, only three here in this third quarter. Periton's only scored two, right? Yes, Periton's had one bucket. We've had we've made three out of four free throws. Wow. We yes. return to play here again. Uh, Peyton Gonzalez talking to the official right here in front of us. But I mean, this place just to look across it, it's just. Uh, quiet as quiet can be for a gym with a basketball game going on inbounds. Perryton inside and a charge on Tarango. That's their fourth foul of this quarter. So the White Faces will have two shots on any more fouls in the final 220 of this quarter. We are down by nine. Let's see what we can do. On the outside, Brandon. Brandon off to Ty, a long three, it is no good. Rebound back to Ty. Down in the corner now to Ethan. Back inside to Viegas, back to Ty for three from the left, it's good. 27-21, let's see if that gets us going. Down by six, Perryton against the full court pressure in the back court. Starts up the floor, Estrada. Cross mid court, they've got him trapped. Throws it back out front. A lot of contact here. 139 left in the quarter. Estrada down low, dumps it off. Off the glass, no good. Rebound and a foul on the follow. The second follow we... Perryton missed, got the rebound, and back to the line goes Perez with his team leading by six. 132 left in the quarter. Again, the scoring has been so slow. I mean, we've got a chance if we can just get going. Perez makes the first one, 28-21. Back in comes Cervantes. They had him out. He's got three fouls in this quarter. They took him out for about a minute and a half. He's back on the floor now. And they're much different when he's on the floor. 28-21 now. Second chance for Perez. Up it goes. Made them both. 29-21. 
Irvin with the ball, a minute 31 left in the quarter. Diego Ornelas up the floor to tie. Tie to Diego, one of the gunners pushed way out. Brandon off to Viegas, cross court in the corner. We were open for a three, it's no good. Rebound Bermudas, up and in. Great job one, 29-23. Full court pressure by the White Faces in the back court now. Tarango stops his dribble, fires it ahead to Cervantes. Cervantes pushes off, gets away with it. Back to Tarango, 102 left in the quarter. Tarango cross court, stolen by Bermudas. Fires it ahead, ball knocked away and intercepted and a travel on Perryton. 54 seconds left, we had a two on two. Juan got a little bit of a hurry, but Perryton couldn't control it. Now Perryton with a couple of subs in, 54 seconds. We're back within six, a chance to whittle into that. Plenty of time here, we're in the third quarter. The white face is showing a little bit of life. Inbounds, it comes to tie for three from the corner. It's no good. Rebound, Perryton, and we've got a whistle and a jump ball. It's their ball. 49 seconds left in the third quarter. Six-point lead for the Rangers. Perryton with the ball in the backcourt. White faces with full court pressure. Inbounds, it comes to Cervantes. He fires it ahead to Tarango in the forecourt. He's trapped, taken away, but lost out of bounds. Ty took it away from him, but couldn't keep it in play. 41 seconds left in the quarter. Lots of pressure by the White faces. Yep. Trying to get 40. those turnovers. Down by six. Inbound, Cervantes. Perryton tried to draw a charge. And didn't. Cervantes across midcourt. Tie on him. He goes to his left. Pulls up, passes out to Tarango. Tarango dribbles, stops his dribble. Now he's trapped. Finally gets it back to Cervantes. 21 seconds left in the quarter. Cervantes in traffic. And a block on the white faces. Oh. Mm. How many fouls is that? I can't see the board, Coach. It's Tarango. Uh, one, two, three, four this quarter. Oh, no. He's got two free throws. All right. 16 seconds left in the quarter. Tarango, uh, pardon me, Cervantes, the shooter. Perryton with a six-point lead. Time called by the official. The shooter is, there was no, that was the fourth foul. Yeah. Okay. There is no shot, so away from the line they step. 29-23, Perryton, Cervantes inbounds it on the baseline. Back out front, they work it around the left side to Tarango, give it back to Cervantes. We're down to 10 seconds. We cannot foul here. In the lane, runner, no good, rebound, fought far. Bermudez gets it. Oh, Herford's out of bounds, 2.9, wow. 2.9 left in the quarter. Perry's going to have a chance here to inbound it and get a shot away. They lead by six underneath their own bucket. Out to put it in play is Cervantes. Lobs it in. We steal it. Go, 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 go. Don't have time. We shoot it midcourt, but no time. 29-23, Perryton by six. After three, we're back in one minute. Herd athletes work tirelessly on the fundamentals of their particular sport while learning to work in a team concept. It's not much different at Hereford, Texas Federal Credit Union. Our employees have a dedication to serve our members daily with the fundamentals of good business. Being friendly and helping give you peace of mind and knowing that when you need banking assistance, you can get it from our knowledgeable staff. Hereford, Texas Federal Credit Union, member NCUA, working as a team since 1936 with our members. Go Herd! When the unthinkable happens, good neighbors show up. For 100 years, State Farm has been among the first to arrive with the latest technology and tools to help you recover faster. State Farm has been there before, and they'll be there again and again. Stop by and see your local State Farm insurance agent, Matt Silva, at 801 Main Street in Hereford. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. All right, Herbert Ball final quarter during between quarters there. Miranda playing the fight song over the PA and the state championship winning fight song exactly. routine. Exactly. By the lady white face and male white face cheerleader. Good way to spend your Christmas break going and winning state championships. Absolutely. Inbounds we go. Ty's got it. He gives it away to Brandon. Back to Diego Arnales. 
And now Brolin back in there. Cross court to Ty. Ty can't shoot. Passes down low and throws it away. Tried to get it to Arnalis down low, and I don't know if Arnalis broke just as he made the pass, but whatever, it went out of bounds, and we don't get a shot. Full court pressure, inbounds. Estrada back to Tarango, back to Estrada. 7.40 to play in the game. Herford trails by six. Estrada across midcourt. Trapped right in front of us here. Time call by Perryton to prevent a five-second call, and we're back in 30 seconds. Oh, there's nothing like the sound of a new baby calf or the smell of fresh rain on a cotton crop. My friends at Capital Farm Credit share this excitement with agricultural and livestock producers. We want to be your lending partner. Whether you require operating funds for next year's crop or need to buy hay for your cattle, we have a loan that's right for you. Let us finance your operation. CapitalFarmCredit.com all right, we've got fourth quarter action here from Whiteface Gym. We're down 29-23. Perryton with a ball. We got it back within six, had the ball, couldn't score. Now Perryton gets it back, and we got him trapped there, but they took a timeout. Yep, good news. I mean, bad news is we only scored eight points in quarter number three. Good news is they only scored four. Wow. So it. This is mm. just the craziest of games. I've not seen anything like no. this in a while. Perryton with the ball right here in front of us, ready to put it in play. Tarango's the man. He brings it into Cervantes. Cervantes brings it across midcourt. Tie on him. 7.29 to go. 29-23, Perryton. Cervantes takes it in traffic, dumps it out. Tarango shoots the three and makes 32-23, a big three there. 7-16 left. Ty, but we're having so much trouble. Did the other night just getting a good look. Viegas off to Ty. So far away from the bucket, we just can't get any anything inside. They just keep pushing us out. Brandon's got it here on the right side, but he doesn't shoot. Dribbles back. Get it off to Diego. 32-23, we trail. Diego to Brandon. Brandon travels. Not sure, but he did. 6.44 left. That's twice in a row down the floor without getting a shot away. And, you know, we just can't afford them. I mean, we're down nine points. Every possession is important. We need to get our shots. Gosh, Cervantes pushes off all the way down there, but... No whistle, Perez inside off the glass, 34-23, and now it's 11 points with 6.28 to play. Whiteface is working ahead, Ornalis. Knocked away from the backside, it'll be Herbert's ball. Acosta into the game, now the official's gonna have a powwow about, I think, who touched the ball last. Coach Brown wanting a foul, but 6.19 left. I mean, we got it back to six, and suddenly it's back to 11. Inbounds, Bryland for three. It's no good. Rebound to Costa. Back out here it comes. Throws it away, but it's tipped, touched by Perryton, so still Herford's ball. 6.12 left. We just can't buy a bucket. Bryland's a good three-shooter. Brandon's a good three-shooter. Ty. But and there's a takeaway. We just turned it over again. Ahead now to Cervantes. He'll go to the bucket. He'll put it off the glass. It's 36-23. Inside six minutes to play. The task is getting tougher. They scored seven in a row. Ty takes it in off the glass. No good. Rebound Perez. Outlet pass Cervantes. Foul on Brandon. Technical on somebody. The white faces. Technical on... High. 544 left, down by 13. He comes out of the ball game. I mean, we, you know, we're down by 13, and we just cannot afford any kind of. They'll shoot two free throws and then get the ball. And the shooter, Cervantes, and we kind of know what he can do. So Ty will come out of the ball game. Cervantes does miss the free throw, but it's still a 13-point lead. 544 left. 
What, we, what doldrums we have been in. Second free throw is good, 37 to 23. Diego Viegas and uh, Gonzalez come in. So it's Ethan and Diego Gonzalez and Brylan, Diego Ornelas and Acosta. It's their ball. They have a 14 point lead. There's 544 left. We've only scored 23 points in the ball game, so not a very good position to be in. Here is Cervantes outside now. Around the horn, work it in the corner. We got Cervantes trapped, but he gets it back to Tarango. Got Tarango trapped. He dribbles now, takes it in the lane all the way, puts it up. It's no good. Perez gets the rebound. They pull it out and go again. 519 left. Up by 14. No reason to hurry for Perryton. Cervantes outside, left side to Rango. Durango trapped, turns, shoots, and misses, and the rebound to Viegas. Diego quickly down the floor now, inside, off the glass, and in, and a foul to boot. Brylan with the bucket, and the foul. What are they calling? I don't know. Fouls on Perryton. Oh, no. Called a charge on Brylan. Oh, my. 37-23, oh my. Oh my. The call just was so delayed. Yeah, yeah. Well, in Brylin, uh, well, doesn't matter. We're down by 14, but that was hurtful, I'll tell you. Perryton in the forecourt now, and really just a matter of them running out the clock, but they shoot a three, miss it. Perez gets the rebound. Cervantes, turnaround jumper, it's good. 39-23. Foul on Perez. Herford's ball, the bucket will count. 39-23, Perez is third, but it matters not. Brolin comes out of the ball game. And uh, we're down by 16 with 441 left. Ethan Gonzalez now. Out, left side pass to Brandon. Brandon inside, back to Viegas. Diego shoots, misses. Rebound, Perryton. Up the floor quickly in the forecourt come the Rangers. Outside now, left side corner, three-point shot. It's good. That was Tarango, 42-23, to 417 left to play. Timeout Hereford back in 30 seconds. Start here. AC. Go anywhere. Amarillo College is the place to prepare. AC. I wanted to be a nurse for years. Amarillo College helped me get there. I had a job lined up even before I graduated. With my degree from AC, I can go anywhere and do anything. Trust your future to a college that cares. Start here, AC. Go anywhere. Well, it was 29-23 when this quarter began. Yep. And 13 points for Perryton later, it is 42. 23, and uh, the White Faces are going to lose their fourth in a row. It, it's just, you've got to figure that at some point, three-point teams, which Prairie 10 seems to be, is going to cool off. And I guess they had a cool third quarter, yeah. but they have heated, heated back up again. Taranga with three threes his fourth quarter. Wow. Cervantes with two buckets and a, and a free throw. Mm. Well, we have 417 left. We're down by 19. Perryton's, I mean, there's, you know, again, you can keep listening and watching. I don't want you to leave us, but uh, this one's this one's not going to be a W. Brandon on the outside, off to Diego, to Ethan, to Diego. Ethan for three. No good. Rebound to Herford. Great hustle by Diego. He shoots the three. It's no good. Rebound Perez. He gives it to Tarango. 352 left with a 19-point lead. There's a foul on Ethan. That's our third of this quarter. And that's his fourth of the ball game, I believe. Yes. We're not going to win this game, and we're going to go on the road Friday night to Borger. Here's a steal by Herford. Great play by Nallis. 
ahead now to Brandon. Brandon to the bucket. He's fouled. Foul on uh, Cervantes. Bucket counts. 42-25. 3.39 left. So Brandon will try to make it a three-point play here. And again, all we can do at this point is just kind of make it more respectable because 17 down, 16 down is Brandon, or pardon me, not Brandon, but Ethan makes the free throw. Arnalis out, Ryland back in. 16-point lead, 3.39 left. Full court pressure by the white faces. Inbounds in the backcourt. Got Cervantes trapped. He gets it to Durango. Durango's trapped back to Cervantes. Herford all over him, but he gets it in the forecourt. Sets it up outside. Now Durango's got it with 3.23 to play. Durango around the perimeter. Can't shoot. Herford steals it. Back the other way goes Ethan. Two on one. All the way. He misses. Whistle and a foul. 3.12 to play. That's Ethan's. it for him. Okay. Cervantes is fouled out. 3.12 left to play. But he has put his team up by 16 points, and he scored, I don't know how many of them. He but, has uh, scored 15 of them. 15 of the 42. 3.12 left. Two free throws now for Gonzalez. Again, that cold spell here in this quarter. Ethan misses. Rebound, Herford. Nope, that was the first of two. Well, we almost put it back. <laughs> Diego Villegas got the rebound, shot it, missed it even. 3-10 to play, 42-26. My face is about to fall to two and four. He missed them both. Rebound now off to <clears throat> Perryton in the backcourt. They get it to Tarango. Tarango fires it ahead to midcourt. They get it in the forecourt to Estrada. Estrada back outside. Herford almost got the steal, but instead, Ethan has fouled out. With 2.56 to play, and his team by, down by 16. He fouls out of the game. It will be the fourth foul against the White Faces. Diego Ornalis comes back in for Herford. And in the far, on the far side, Puritan will inbound the ball. 42-26. We scored 26 in Canyon, and that's what we got here tonight with under three minutes to play. Puritan, Herford with a steal. Nice play by Brandon ahead to Bryland. Bryland makes the layup, 42-28. 2.44 left. Puritan in the backcourt, gets it up near midcourt. Herford's got him trapped. There's a foul on Brandon. That's the fifth on Herford. 2.36 left. We'll go at the opposite end. Perryton will shoot two. And they'll shoot two the rest of the night. And they lead by 14. 2.35 to play. Brandon grabbed him pretty severely. Two free throws now for Perryton. Shooters Doherty. And Doherty makes the first one, 43 to 28. 235 left on the night on the road in Borger. White face guys and gals. Both, here he misses this one, but the rebound comes to Perryton. Estrada out front, 231 left. Every tick of the clock obviously works for Perryton. We knock it away. Costa comes up with it, he carries it. Marcos couldn't get under control, and <coughs> ball got hung up on his shoulder with 2.24 left. Our fourth consecutive loss in the district after two opening wins. Perryton inbounds it in the backcourt. Estrada comes in the forecourt. Herford steals it. That's Brandon Gonzalez. Brandon down the floor. Lays it up and in. 43-30 with 2.12 left to play. White face is not going to go quietly into the night. Well, well, yep. But <clears throat> Perryton does not like that pressure that no. the white faces are putting on the dribbler. And without uh, Cervantes, uh, it's yep. a it's a huge difference. I mm -hmm. mean, he's he's the man they know. When things get rough out there, he can handle it. But he's out of the ball game with five fouls. 
but his team is still up by 13, 2-12 to play. But again, credit to the White Faces for fighting here Absolutely. at the end. I mean, we got down, what were we down, 42 to 23. So they've scored one, we've scored seven since then, but we've still got 13 more to make up. And again, any foul by the White Faces is uh, two shots for the Rangers. They've got Tarango back out there along with Doherty in the backcourt. Estrada, Viegas on Tarango, who's going to inbound it. Here he goes, inbounds. Gets it quickly up the floor, throws it away, but the ball winds up in the hands of Estrada. Wow. Estrada throws it away. Herford gets it down the floor to Rylan. He puts it off the glass. It's 43 to 32, a minute 57 left. 11 point game, Perryton. There's a foul by Diego on Doherty. 152 left in the game. Again, uh, Perryton wants us, you know, they want to give us a chance here. 152 left. But two free throws here. Doherty, one for two tonight on the free throw line. Okay, he shoots the first of two here. 152 left on the night. He misses. 11 point game with 152 left to play. Boy, a three pointer would sure yeah, make things tricky. If you could get it back in single digits, time call now. Ball again out on the floor. Official stop play, and now we're ready. Doherty will shoot the second of two free throws. He can make it a 12 point game. One out of three now at the free throw line he is, and he is two out of four. So it's a 12-point lead. Here comes Brandon Gonzalez. Ahead now, Ornalis doesn't take it. Brandon doesn't either. Back to Hit Diego. It. He shoots a three from the corner. It is way off. And the rebound belongs to, I don't know who. Ornalis and Tarango got tangled up. It'll be Puritan's ball in the alternating possession with 140 left to play, leading by a dozen. Tarango inbounds it to Doherty, back to Tarango. Got him trapped back there. Tarango gets it back to Doherty, 134 left. Perford takes it away. Brandon back to Viegas for three. It's no good, rebound Brylan. Back out, we're shooting nothing but threes. Brandon, it's no good. Rebound off to Ornelas, back up and in. 44-34, 116 to play. In the backcourt now, Perryton with the ball. Quickly up the floor. Ball's loose. Perryton gets it back. Now Doherty's got it. 106 left. 44-34. Perryton off to Tarango. Tarango back out to Doherty. 58 seconds left. Every tick, we've got a foul. Left side now. Perryton Marcos comes out. 50 seconds left and a foul called on the white faces. 10-point lead. Foul was on uh, Diego Villegas, 44-34 Perryton, and two free throws. Forty-nine seconds left. 44-34 Perryton lead. Whiteface Jim tonight on the road. Borger Friday night. Wow. Border has not traditionally been an easy place to play no. in the last couple of years either. And they're two and five in the district. Perryton misses the first free throw. I'm telling you, if we could have gotten it close enough, mm-hmm. Perryton was willing to uh, give us a chance, but we didn't. And a second free throw here now for the Rangers with a 10 point lead and 49 seconds left. Uh, they really, really don't matter, but he does make one of the two. 45, 34, quickly in now to Ornalis. Diego comes in the corner. Herford shoots a long three. That's Smith. He misses. Rebound. Kicked in the backcourt. Yep. Herford. What do we got? Red foul. Red 12. Okay, red 12 with the foul. 37 seconds left. Perryton again. This is not going to matter, but Herford's going to get it back. Inbounds now. To Bryland. Tarango picks him up. Again, Herford trying to shoot threes. Smith passes on it. In the corner, Diego 
we got to shoot it here somewhere, boys. Down low, off the glass and in by Smith. 45-36, 22 seconds left. Timeout called by Perryton with 19 seconds left and a nine-point lead. And again, too little, too late for the White Faces. We're going to – we scored, what, 13 in this quarter. That's been our most productive quarter of the ball game, but – not going to be enough as uh, we're in the final seconds here at Whiteface Gym. And the Whiteface crowd, many of them uh, have exited. Friday night in Borger. Again, tough place for yeah. boys and girls to play. 4.30 start. I think it'll be the Will it? JV girls. will start at 4.30 and the, uh, the freshman boys that, that play early, I believe. Okay. In the 6 and 7.30 for the uh-huh. varsity games. Yes. yes. Well, it's a tough night, boy. When you get in the midst of one of these deals, I mean, there's just not, you know, you just can't see a way out. That's the Cowboys. That's the Eagles. Yeah, I mean, no you know. Kidding. Oh. And they get paid a lot of money. Uh, no but, one is immune from, nope. from this kind of stuff. Oh, uh, and it just leaves you scratching yeah. your head and so frustrated. Lost those three in a row to West Plains and Randall and Canyon. Can't now we've got three players out of bounds. What are they going to do? I don't know what the play is here. Oh, this is against the full court pressure. They're trapped in the back court. Herford fouls with 14 seconds left again. I think that's Brylin. I think that's it for him that if is. it is. Lopez is fouled out. The White Face is uh, going to come up short here to the Perryton Rangers tonight for Perryton. Just like the girls, this is their second district win. 14 seconds left, 45 36. White Face is sub in now. Uh, Dio San Miguel. Perryton shoots and misses the first free throw. It's Doherty. We appreciate his yeah. <laughs> 50% deal. Yep. He's got a second chance here. Coach Brown and Ricky Guy talking right here in front of us. Coach Brown, another frustrating night for the first-year head coach. One of two. It's a 10-point game. Inbounds now. It comes to Smith. Back it goes to Ornalis. Diego back to Smith. He pulls up, shoots a three, misses. Rebound with six seconds left. Perryton's got it. No reason to foul here, boys. One second, and that's the ball game. 46-36. The Rangers beat the White Faces here on the home court. And uh, Acosta and Perez still enjoying one another's company as they shake hands at the end of the game. Two teams right in front of us and their coaches uh, with handshakes all around. The bottom line is we lose it, 46-36. Lose both games here tonight. Perryton comes on the road and gets their second district win. The White Faces fall to two and four with Borger remaining in first round play. So we will uh, take a 30 second break back to the studio. Be back to wrap it up in one half minute. Your business, farm, or ranch and home is unique, and success depends in part on a cost-effective and convenient supply of quality fuel. When you trust your fueling needs to Gooden Fuels, it's one less detail for you to manage. Commercial fuel in bulk, delivered to your above or below ground tank, serving the western Texas panhandle with gasoline, diesel, and propane. Gooden Fuels in Hereford at 806-364-3366. Call them today to discuss your fuel needs. All right, we welcome you back for our final time tonight to Whiteface Gym, where Hereford has lost uh, 46-36 to the period, and boys lost the girls 44-42. What do you got for us, Coach, numbers Well, wise? all scorers um, were led tonight by Cervantes uh, with 15 points. For the Whitefaces, seven points. Uh, Brylin ended up with seven points. Four of those came in the last in that last quarter, too, and then – we had lots of fellas score, that's yeah. for sure. Acosta ended up with five. Um, Duque ended up with five. Bermudez ended up with five. Brandon Gonzalez ended up with five. And then three points for uh, Ethan Gonzalez. 
a bucket for Tristan Smith, a bucket for Theo San Miguel, a bucket for Diego Ornalis. And so, you know, you love to see a lot of folks scoring, but uh, it wasn't a lot of scoring by any of our no, folks. No, no. And that's just, that's just a tough old deal. It is. I mean, uh, like I said, we had 26 against Canyon, now 36 here tonight. Uh, we've lost now four in a row. I mean, that just kind of kind of snowballs and makes yep. it more and more difficult as time goes by. And, you know, then you wind up uh, finding yourself in a position <clears throat> where you can't, you can't make a real run at the playoffs. We're not quite yeah. there in the boys. The girls are getting pretty close, honestly, yeah. with the fifth loss tonight. But there's still a ways to go. And the guys that won more game in, in the first round, if we could win at Border Friday night and get back to three and four, then certainly not out of the question. But uh, we got to get this skid stopped and got to get the, the the scoring back some way or another uh, soon. Yeah. Yep. Just I, I just I haven't seen a night like this. No. You, you put the boys and the girls together, yeah. and it was just almost the same look for it both. Was. It was, and just kind of like a, it's almost like a, a funeral in here after. I mean, it's just somber and it is. quiet and all the things that come when you're struggling. And for the white faces, uh, just got to find a way out. And hopefully Friday night, that'll be when we find the way out. So we lose them both, 42, 44-42 and 46-36. And go to Borger on Friday night. Be a cold, another cold day, I think. It's supposed I think, to get cold again on Friday. I think it is. But it's usually up at Borger. It's much warmer. Warm and sunny. Yeah. Okay. Because they have those well diggers up there, and you know what they say <laughs> about well diggers. I'm sorry. All right. Thanks for joining us here tonight. Uh, thanks to Anastasia and Adam for the video. And those of you listening, wherever you may be, uh, White Faces lose too. For all your White Face sports sponsors and for Coach Brenda Kitten. It's Tom Simon saying thanks for joining us, and we will see you Friday night with more Whiteface basketball.